Um, I think that we it is it is official that we now call this the Pepia League. I think that has to be the official name. You know, um, the you see, prem, you see, if you look in the Oxford Dictionary, Premier means elite. It means top. It means premium. It means you don't get baptized and tested by a dude from freaking Norway that looks like a freaking James Bond villain. That is what Premier is supposed to mean. But we're going to talk about Haaland, and we're going to talk about what Haaland could potentially do this season. And we're going to have a few apologies so forth because there were people that said that Haaland would flop. The people that said Haaland was going to flop. I'm not naming any names. There were a few there were people that said that Haaland was going to be a bomb. There are people that said Haaland was a bomb. And people that said Haaland was nothing but a Norwegian bricklayer. Not naming any names. Not naming any names. <laughs> not, not, not naming any names. Bro, I said this <laughs> game would be the exception of the bonus. <laughs> not naming any names. Not naming any names, you know. So, guys, we're going to talk about Haaland, Man City, and what they did. We're talking about Liverpool. We have your main man, Sam, Sam in here to talk about Liverpool and... Is it a comeback? Was the referee paid? Was Isaac actually onside? And is the media trying to make this into a title race? Mm -hmm. As Arsenal. I've been attacked, I've been abused, but we're going to have to have a real Arsenal discussion. A real Arsenal discussion will have to be had because Arsenal seem as if they want to be doing a little, just, just a little something. Just a little something because I think Arsenal want to say something. Arsenal want to live. Arsenal want to say, what's up? Um, and we're also going to talk some transfer news. Obama Yank, he gave me my briefly address what's unfortunately happened to him and also the chance of him moving to Chelsea whether that transfer will happen and guys we we can't ignore it we have to talk about the Pogba situation and witchcraft and what is happening there and we might we might just end it on the self-proclaimed goats the self-obsessed self-proclaimed goats we might end it on that because I'm sure that Ricardo wouldn't sign like note, it. HH. quickly sign note uh, yes, this had nothing to do with uh, the, what we're talking about but are you gonna on, on your other channel? Are we gonna talk about the Fugo affair? Are we gonna talk about that? Well, no, 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 no. we're gonna talk about it. Don't worry, it's gonna happen. Don't worry. Don't, don't, don't worry. That's the great Erling Haaland, the great man. This is the guy that is supposed to be in the man strike in the world. I don't give a damn whether people say I'm being too harsh or I need to judge him more. That's also, 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 I know it's you. Also, also, I know it's you. Also, also, I know it's you. Also, come on, come on. Also, also, like, also come on. We're, we're, all, we're all friends here. Also, come on. We're all friends here. Okay. We're, also, we're all friends here, man. We're all friends here. We're all friends here, man. Come on, man. Um, so, look, man. Let me let me present. So, again, representing Peru and Canada and slightly Jamaica as, as well, you know, a guy who has been saying a few words about um, the um african race i'm not really sure whether My it's God. really <laughs> whether, whether, whether he's really one of the, the, the brothers and so forth hashtag BLM. hashtag BLM. so okay so go a main man pat the man city guy the man with a plan the guy that is pushing the man city agenda all the way through and the guy who told me that the ucl is pointless and pep doesn't need to win a ucl we know we know what it is <laughs> <laughs> shout out to your boy Sam. Shout out to your boy Sam. 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 Say what's up. Say what's up. Um, he is a Liverpool fan. He is the guy that led the the quad calls, and he's the guy that believes that Steven Gerrard is five times the player that Zidane could ever hope to be. Shout out to your boy Sam. Your main man Yassir, the football so -so savant, a guy whose knowledge of football is absolutely incredible and beautiful. And a man who believes that Rashford will surpass Pele when all is said and done. Shout out to your boy Osasuna. They say he looks like Dil Bala. I think he looks like Tom Cruise with a slash of Denzel. But it is what it is. Osasuna, your main man who I thought he supports Osasuna. He supports Real Madrid. But I think that he actually has a soft spot for Ibiza as well. Shout out to your main man Osasuna. Keeping the Texan lives alive. No, I'm Shout alone. out to Cowboys. Shout out to my Osasuna. Cowboys. And my main man, Los Blancos Studio, previously Red Devil Studio, previously Magpie Studio, potentially a different person. West London Studios, and he might even be like M Hollywood Studios. So I, he has so many studios, I can't, I can't even keep hold of it as well. He's an MCU savant, movie so savant, and it is to be said that he has saved five lives as a doctor. So that's the truth, man. That's the truth. So guys, that's a crack team. And I, so guys, how's everyone doing, man? How's everyone doing, guys? Was a more impressive player. So if there's anybody, okay, so 
that wasn't no no that wasn't um a call for you to play resist i was maybe next time i won't even ask how you were so actually you no know, screw you screw you actually nah. okay i don't care HH, we, we need an apology in capitals i said it has to be in no capital seriously letters. in capital capitals letters. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so is that how it starts? Okay. Let, okay. Let's start there now. Let's. Okay. Let, let's start there. So, Holland, back to back hat tricks, um, and this guy could say what's up. Now, how good is Crystal Palace really? How good is Nottingham yeah. Forest really? So, okay. <laughs> fine. 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 Look, I have to put that out there. Look, what Holland has done. Is crazy because I'll show you his stats now. I don't want to. I don't want to bring this up because you know I love my dear Chelsea. I don't want to bring this up. You know I love my dear Chelsea, but you know what? Actually, oh, few is not there. So there's a stat out there that Erling Haaland has scored more goals than the entire Chelsea team so far this season. But it's not just like it's just a little bit amount more. It's three more. Sam, goals. can you lift that head up, please? Sam, can you please lift that head up, please? Sam, lift that head up, please. Sam, lift that head up right now. Um. They've literally so, scored one and a half. He's literally scored one and a half times the Chelsea's goal by himself. Also, this, this is the fact. So, guys, I see. We just don't. We don't know what, what the future holds. He could get injured. He could run into a dry spell. But if Haaland doesn't get injured, and it goes on at this rate, I am terrified as to the goal tally he could get because this could be a case of how many points City win this league league by, and. If this guy hits a, because I don't even want to sit. If he hits a certain goal tally, there's nothing Queen Elizabeth II, third, fourth, or fifth can do. I mean, bro, you think that Meghan Markle brought down the royal family? I think Holland may finish the job. Holland may finish the job that Meghan Markle started with the royal <laughs> Patrick, do you want to talk to me? Patrick, how? Okay. Is Haaland going to test you this 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 whole thing, or is look, it just look, being look, reactionary? Look, first of all, first of all, thank you for having me, HH. Uh, well, no, th no, no, I would like to uh, thank you very much because I knew I, I knew you were going to dodge me for this one because I know you've got. A, you've I, got and a I lot tried of to. Allegations. I tried to. You've got a lot of allegations, but the streets are texting me and DMing me that make sure this man apologizes. First of all, Liverpool fans, did you seriously think for a minute that Darwin Nunes? Darwin Alexander Nunes was going to outscore <laughs> this man. This man, I was telling uh, HH of camera, this man was walking red. This man was walking the whole game, and all he was doing is pointing. He said, give it here, Foden. Foden gives it Vori. He points it again, one, two. With Remember, they say he has no touch, and he, he cannot link. He linked to Foden, one, two, one, two, go. Then they say, oh, this guy can head the ball. He's not good with headers. This is his third header. This guy has been the man of the match in three or four games so far for City. De Bruyne is not holding that man of the match anymore. It's Haaland. Guys, right now as we speak, whether you like it or not, whether you're a hater or not, you're sitting there in the streets, you're cold in the streets right now. You know that when there's the voting for the August of player of the month, are you going to even vote? I don't even, they mustn't even put the other names. They should just put Haaland, option A to B. Maybe Salah, since Liverpool fans don't feel uh, important. Patrick, Salah, let's get to two. that real. Patrick, is he breaking the goal scoring record this season? Is he getting, because that's the real talk. Is he breaking the goal scoring record this I think season? He, I think he is, because what, what people are, for, are forgetting is, which is also very good and I'm happy about this, people forget there's the weapon called Alvarez next to him. So, Haaland is going to be benched and Alvarez will come in and play the, less, uh, the, the minutes later. So whenever Haaland scores a three-piece, two-piece or a few goals, he will sit on the bench and Alvarez will come in. So people, he's not going to work as hard as he was working at Dortmund because Alvarez will take some of the goals and Alvarez will also play some of the minutes. So this guy is going to be fit and this guy is going to be able to, to dunk on most of your teams. Yes, Arsenal, you're next. We're going to dunk on your teams and I swear to God, I'm very happy. Nine goals, nine goals already. So basically, he's, he drops another three piece. What are you going to do? Are you going to talk to us? And and and, and HH, before I, I am done speaking, I sent you a DM of what Haaland posted again on his uh, Instagram with another match ball. Can you please just post that? Because he also talked to the haters. I think he was listening to Oh, what's what this guy said. doing, man? What's this guy doing? Please share share with the streets so the streets can he see. He thinks he's so cool. He thinks he's so cool. Okay. 
<laughs> they didn't believe so in what's, us, but, my, but so what, is, he, is he a, a, a rapper now? Is this guy like like a, a rapper or something? Or... <laughs> How, how how many of these balls are you guys going to give? You're going to run out of balls to give this guy. I'm telling you, you're going to run out of balls. But at the end of the day, look, uh, HH, we're still waiting for that apology from you. The states want the apology from you. There's receipts everywhere. I'm okay, so oh, oh, okay, okay, no, two two things, perfect, two two things. One thing, what if he ends up with fifteen goals for the CC season? That's 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 the first thing. Second thing is this, um, the champions, la 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 la, Patrick. The Premier League is a bomb-ass league. Now, I know that that may get my red passport revoked, and I know that that may put me in a, in a meeting with Winston Churchill and so forth, but I'm only speaking the truth here. Pep has made this a Mickey Mouse league. This is a Mickey Mouse league. It's so much of a Mickey Mouse league, the media is trying to promote top four as a freaking competition. Mm -hmm. So, the, Patrick, this is, this is trading for the UCL. What Pep and Haaland are doing, they're using the Premier League as a training ground to sharpen their tools for the UCL. Because at the end of the day, it's about the UCL. Bro, hold my hands up. Pep has tested this league. He has delivered this freaking league. So, no, I don't need to apologize for anything because if he finishes with 15 goals, we'll be back here and you'll be apologizing. Can, 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 can I say something to you, HH? First of all, yes, as you're speaking with this 15 and shamelessly speaking 15, do you know we play as games? Said, said 18, 18. Hmm? <laughs> do you know do you know this guy, this robot has played five games and has scored nine goals? And there's how many games left? This guy can be injured. 33 I, I games. Can do you know what? This guy can be injured for three games and still come back and just pump goals again. And you know what? Don't you guys dare. I'm not going to get this from uh, rival fans saying, oh, congrats, City, or oh, this is this. Look at how Chelsea are spending. You've already you're already trying to buy a defender for 2023. <laughs> look at look at United. Look Patrick, at Arsenal right now. Don't mention no, 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 that no, no, team no. at the no. bridge. We yeah. we we we, we, okay, we dealt okay, with them okay, last okay. That's so reactionary, hours. by the way, about two goals. That's so reactionary. Speak, yeah, yeah. Speak, you, speaking of money, no, Patrick. No, no. So, sorry, speaking of money, Patrick. So is um is, is was Grealish starting today? <laughs> no, he's not. He's injured. He's injured. He's injured. Okay, so will he come oh. back into? Will he come back into the team when? Um... Wait, wait, wait. Where is that Brazilian uh, street street seller of sweets? When is he coming? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking a question. I'm just saying, will he come back? You know what I'm trying to say? I'm trying yeah. to say that everybody has the money and everybody is fair. So now we're just gonna have to put respect on Pep's name that he's able to use that same money and then he's building something great. But look, at the end of the day, it's a UCL. And I can't wait to see Haaland in the okay, UCL. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let me bring this right. Better UCL. So, 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 Sam, as a rival, the supposed title rival, are you scared of what Haaland could do? <laughs> or is this all Twitter hype? And at the end of the day, he'll get found out. And Crystal Palace are not going for us. We're not checking for these two freaking guys. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What did you call him? What did you call him? Huh? What did you call What did you call Samuel? What? What did you call him? You said as a what? <laughs> Patrick, do you do you really want to go down this path? I said it's no, 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 no. These guys down here, well, how can you call them rivals if they have won one and we've won four? Whoa. Please don't. Just say, just say as a one two. They, they, they won two actually. I won mean, two. one because Bournemouth doesn't count. I don't, I'm not counting. No, no, this no, is no, true. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about the Premier League. We've won four. Oh, yeah, that's oh, true. How can you call them that's rivals? Factual. They, hey, that, that's factual. Oh, that's why oh, they're supposed oh, addressing, hence, addressing hence as, supposed. the Liverpool fan. I mean, to be fair, at least they won the Champions League. Is, is it my turn to speak? Is it, Sam, is it my turn? the mic is. The I mean, the mic if you beat Tottenham, does it count? Yeah, so can you meet like, that mic? Can you, can you, can you press mute? Yeah, Sam, yeah, first of all, I can see all of our teams are in the Champions League. Where's yours? Anyways. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I'm not going to cap on this. Man City are a brilliant team. Um, You have to put respect on Pec's name. I'll, He's, he's done. Like, for me personally, if I want to be realistic, the league is done. I know, From like, Liverpool um, couldn't... We're not, I knew we're not going to get a midfielder. Yeah, all money. We're, I know. Wait, yeah. We're, we're, we're waiting back. We're waiting on um, midfielders that are very injury-prone. Like, Thiago, yes, he's one of the best midfielders in the world. But he he will come back, play five games, and then get injured again. And then we're waiting for him to come back again. Like, we, we, we can't operate with that. So, with Man City... I've always said this, and I've never actually slandered Haaland. I actually remember when we had this debate about Mbappe and Haaland, and I never said um, Haaland is a better player than Mbappe, but it was a time where 
I think it's when Mbappe missed that penalty. Um, it was, was it in the Euros or the World Cup? Euros, Euros, Euros against Switzerland. Yeah. And well, he, possibly, he had pot, pot, we'll get po- possibly Pogba jinx, but we, you know, yeah, just, but we'll, we'll get, we'll get. <laughs> yeah, just, well, um, I was saying um, at that time where, um, if Liverpool weren't, um, were, were able to get in a in a hypothetical world, were able to get either Mbappe or Haaland, what would I rather? And I said for me at that moment, Haaland. So I've I've always rated Haaland, but the, the thing about it is that. I don't care what Man City do in the in the Premier League because come on, you've already done it without Haaland. So like, what is there else to prove? It's the Champions League because you've never done it. Mm, now, loser that's loser talk right there, bro. Bro, thank you, bro, thank you, bro, thank you. Bro, hold on, hold on. Let me let me finish. Let me land. And yes, sir, please do not talk. When was the last time you actually with the trophy? Please. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm just so, saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, see, meet the mic. Well, meet the mic. that's the thing. That's the thing. Don't say anything. Anyways, back to you, Patrick. With all that you have won, and it's four and five, and yes, you completely battered us. You spent how much, and you haven't won one Champions League. So that is a problem. It is a problem. I mean, when you have Red Star Belgrade having more Champions Leagues than you, we really have to look at you. If you get what I'm saying. So, you can say, oh, Liverpool have only won one Premier League title, which is pathetic. Well, at least we've got one. When I say talk about your Champions Leagues, how many have you got? You you remind me, can I say something? You remind me of some girl I used to compete with at school. And every time I beat her, because I used to be first position, she used to tell me, Patrick, wait till you see next season or next, next year. Wait till you see mathematics and business. And she still got dominated. Look, what I can say is, Champions League, we don't have one. Look, at the end of the day, we don't have one. And I'm going to hold that. The football horse does not um, um, ride with the comments made by... Yeah, let's just continue. Let's just, let's just continue with that. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I read it. Yeah, yeah, okay. That was a lost in translation. Lost in translation. But continue. continue. Um, look, okay, okay, so, so but, but, Sam, but Sam, do you yeah. concede the, 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 the league, though? Yeah, no. Um, Listen, it's again, it's it's very early, um, early to say. Um, Anything can happen. You can have a lot of injuries and then the league blows up. But really and truly, Man City are the favourites and they rightfully are the favourites. But um, right now, I want to see Haaland when he plays against like teams like Chelsea, teams like Arsenal, teams like... Because I don't think um, he's... It's getting um, worse. No, we, we, we'll say that, but then we, we, we always say then what um, you can't expect anything from football. No, no, like, no, 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 now, right. I didn't watch most of the game, but I will assume that Nottingham Forest, knowing that they're going up against Man City, would have sat back in a deep block and not really given them much space. So, and, and I'm sure Palace would have done something similar as well. And I, Palace have always done that. Sit back, hit them on the counter with their skillful guys. So if Haaland hmm. dropped three against Palace, three, it, it seems that's a deep block. If he's playing against Tottenham, Liverpool, or Chelsea or Arsenal, who will give him space? He's probably going to be even a lot more deadly. So, Sam, what is scary is that he's dropping three goals against guys who are not giving him space, who are sitting back because they're so much more inferior to Man City. So, Sam, I ask you this question, and I'm going to answer this question to everyone. Does this guy break your Egyptian gods' goal scoring record? We could be seeing 40 goals if, even if, if he gets want, injured for 10 games. If, if, if you want to be realistic, yeah, he can. He's already got nine goals. There's, there's no deny about that. But when we're looking at the team, and the reason why I said um, looking at the top six is that even though they're going to give him space, Man City also gives space <laughs> to other teams as well. I mean, if we looked at, um, what's it called, Crystal Palace, even though they beat them 4-2, look what happened there. Even Patrick had to admit that um, Pep loves to stick with these um, fullbacks in, into midfield and he had to tell them to um, Kyle Walker and I think it was Cancelo that was playing that game to actually stay out wide because they were getting pammed on the wings. Now, I don't know if Pep is going to keep on going with that, but against these teams that can exploit that, you can have high-scoring games. I go to Newcastle, it was 3-3. Now, that might have been an off day for a Man City, but that's, that's what I look at. Again, 
I'm just look, putting things in, into perspective. He's dropped. He's dropped it. He dropped it. He's already dropped it. He, he dropped, dropped it. it yeah. Game. He's dropped it today. Yeah. He's dropped it. I think he's seen it's not working. It's not working. Yeah. It, I, the, the thing is that you admit it was it wasn't working because that, that's what I was looking at because I was yeah. thinking if it, people are going to sit back, yes, they might concede goals, but you're going to also give away a lot of goals and it's going to be a high scoring game. I mean, um, the game last last year against Real Madrid where um you beat them four three. But we all knew that you kept Real Madrid alive because they scored three. <laughs> like that, you kept Real Madrid alive. But anyways, as I was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Samasi, I don't, I, I, please. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just just to finish on the point. Listen, Man City are a brilliant team. I'm, if we're gonna be objective and realistic, we knew that if Haaland comes in and they adapt to Haaland. And I admit, I didn't think they were going to adapt to Haaland this quickly, but they adapted mm-hmm. to Haaland and they're giving him all these chances. And he can, you can say he can be a tapping merchant or this or that, but he's going to be tapping in all these goals. He's got, he's got back-to-back hat-tricks. Listen, he he can get 34 goals this season. 34. All right. So, R- R- Ricardo, what are, you, what are you saying about Haaland, man? I said it from the start <sighs> that he was going to break the Premier League record in his first season. I've said and, it several and times. I still stand by that. I still stand by it. It changed. City create way too many chances that go unconverted. All right. The thing with Holland is that he's going to get a quantity of chances playing for City. He isn't going to get many quality goals. He isn't going to take on one or two or three players and score. He isn't going to just dink it over the keeper or he's going to curl it top corner from outside the box or from free kick. He's going to be an absolute menace in that penalty box. Absolute menace. He's going to get tap-ins. He's going to get half chances. He's going to get rebounds. He's going to get headers because of his height or simply out-muscle defenders, which we have seen so far, or in transition because he's so explosive. He's quick. We got five games. And he is, and he is almost one third of the way there. <laughs> Five games, and he's one third of the almost one third of the way there. You have to also put into perspective that he's going to be properly rested during the World Cup. Exactly. He's not he's not participating in the World Cup, so bearing an injury, the record is his. Because I'm thinking like. He, like he but, but knows. She never knows what's gonna happen in the future. Like you just no, no. Just... But I'm saying, if an injury occurs, probably won't. Right? Probably mm-hmm. won't. But as long as they're just beating down on these horrible teams, on these lower end teams, he's gonna get his goals. Now, if he can, you know, maybe score one or two against Liverpool, against United, against Arsenal, against Chelsea, it will add up. It's the small teams that they're just gonna pound on. And that's just going to boost his numbers over and over. And, and like I said, he's like, for example, like, look who they're facing next. They're facing Aston Villa next. Are we saying three back to back hat tricks? Imagine. Uh, Ricardo, Ricardo, Ricardo. Imagine. Okay, wait, hold up. Hold up, Ricardo. No, 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 guys, let's just. If, because I didn't know that, it was yes. Aston Villa. If Holland drops another three piece, I think, I think I'm, I'm going to apply for Norwegian citizenship. HH, HH. I, I don't know why you'd be the blackest man there. The... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, look, I don't. I don't have to go there, but fine. They have Callum Wilson, man. They have Callum Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, I don't know why. Like, uh, I, I, I've said it from the start that Holland. I mean, I think the the last game, not even this one, the one before. Holland doesn't even necessarily have to fit in or doesn't have to have a great game. He, he's just going to find a way. City is going to find a way for him. And he's just going to bang them in. Like, if you look at the... Like, I believe his first goal was actually his first touch today, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> so how many times is he going to do Took that? 13 minutes to touch the ball yeah. and then just yeah. scores. And just scores. No, like, Patrick, the second goal is the second touch. Second touch. How, how no. many times is, he, is that going to happen this season where... He's probably going to have less than 20 touches in the whole entire game. No, and no, he's no, just no, no, score. no. It's, 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 I am fearful. I am fearful because I'm like, because my fear is if he doesn't get injured. Because if he doesn't get injured, I am fearful of what this guy could do. The record, the record is what, 32, right? 32, 32. bro. We could 32. Be, it could, he could be cleared yeah. by February. Like, you have to think about it too. It's like when he was in the Bundesliga, right? 
Lewandowski scored 41 goals in 28 games. That's an insane record. Yeah. But Holland was always right behind him when he was fit. Always right behind him. A few steps back. And he did it with a vastly inferior side. You're giving him a su- the, the, the superior side in the Premier League. And this is a side that has been crying for a goal scorer. Not, not someone like Aguero who can pull something out of the bag. Like, this is just like... <laughs> he's literally the next tapping merchant. <laughs> and the Bro, crazy this is part the next Garrett Miller of football. Uh, like, this is ex- the next Garrett Miller like, of football. He, he literally... Like, it's like I said, I know a lot of the times we like to rave about quality over quantity in terms of goals. But if you look at the story of Holland's career, he doesn't have many, many quality goals. His goals yeah. are very straightforward. It's yeah, just, just bang, bang. Just, just <laughs> putting that ball in the back of the net, that's what he is yeah. the best at. And okay. like he, he he's going to break it. Man. I'm telling you. Okay, so, so, again, briefly, because we are about to end off the top of the question. So, just briefly, Holland sits, he talk, talk, talks to me. Does he break this record, man? I mean, if, if I recall, I think when he left Dortmund, he's had more goals than, than, than appearances, or about it was like about equal, something like that, which I think was absolutely insane. insane. And I At think Dortmund, it'd be, and it, it'd be ridiculous, like if he ends the season and it's like you, you, his goal sign is like he scored more goals than appearances for City. I can't remember the last time a, a, a player did that, like in a domestic in a domestic league. Nine As for the hat trick record, um, I think it's only been two. So if he does score a hat trick against Villa, he would break the record of successive like hat tricks. Wow. He broke a record today two. of like scoring his like the like I think it was like the the when when you're new to the league or something like that. Yeah, like, so, oh, so, so he has yeah. less minutes, isn't it? He's been benched a lot of times, so he's played like less minutes. No, no it was it was like the most the most goals in the goals opening five days. In the opening five, yeah, five, five, yeah. Five I think games. I think yeah. Aguero. Yeah, Wait, did you I, see I, the yeah. Lukaku one? Where Lukaku has played thirty six games, scored five goals. So Blanco, so Blanco, so that's what you're saying. Blanco, what are you saying? Blanco, what are you saying? Yeah, I mean, so, the Lukaku okay. so, situation so, is it? Yeah, so, so you're saying about Haaland? Yeah, yeah. what are you saying about Haaland? Yeah, no, no, brilliant, br- brilliant player, brilliant player. Like, it's interesting when you have a number nine and you actually <laughs> create for him how he's able to sort of score goals, something that City, uh, that Chelsea and United in particular couldn't seem to be able to do for their respective number nines, which yeah. is quite fascinating. And then everyone was living a little bit. Um, you know so, so, yeah. Ironically, yeah, they're, yeah. Probably not gonna, they're probably not going to sign number nines. I United and, and Wait. Well, United have a number nine technically, but... Uh, in Chelsea theory, Chelsea have a number nine right now. Aubameyang is, in theory, <laughs> the deal is done. Isn't his, isn't, his, isn't, his, isn't his jaw broken or something? Wait, wait, yeah, we'll get so he's going to be we'll out there. for like a we, month. Yeah. Does he break the record this season? Was in uh, well, probably, probably, probably. Like, let's no, like, no, probably. I need a yes or a no. I need a yes or a no. Like, yeah, he'll break the record. Why would like why would he, why would he not break like what was I think what was scared about the Nottingham Forest game is that they were like you, you guys are what? so cheesy man like but no, no, so hey, 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 let me know if it's, it's it. Hey, yeah. what was scary about this game was that like wasn't it, was it 65 minutes in they're like yeah let's bring on De Bruyne. <laughs> yeah. like, like you're already like five nil up for something like that. And you're just like, yeah, just bring on De Bruyne like that. It's just like, so of course it's gonna break the record. But like if you can make a sub where you're bringing on like the the player of the year, uh, Premier League player of the year, last season three consecutive seasons, who who can create? Because I didn't make that ridiculous pass to uh, to Haaland Haaland against. Um, no, it was, was it it against. Just, um, it was to Silva against uh, Newcastle. Against Newcastle, Silva against Newcastle, like. That's, that's the type of player that you're bringing on from the bench, you know, to create violence. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Haaland are just... There's so much c- creativity in the City squad right now. Obviously, not, not even mentioning Al- Alves, who can score goals as well, that not only they're going to win the league, because that's, that's sorted out, that's going to win the league, sort of, but possibly, maybe, they might even get 100 points. Possibly, yeah, maybe. Lies, lies, no, 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 no. I'm just, I just, I just, just put, just put it out. I think you guys, are, you guys are. Uh, way over no, no, no. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not, re- it's not reactionary. It's not reactionary because, like, let's let's be real. Liverpool, Liverpool, um, Liverpool got just got handed to this game today by the ref. Let's keep it a stat. Hundred percent. They got the hand to the ref. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, I know, okay. I know, I know. I'm just uh, handed. Yeah, handed. Yeah, maybe handed. Uh, Chelsea, uh, uh, Chelsea are where, where, where Chelsea? What if Chelsea? Well, Chelsea their what, Chelsea? attack is literally worse than most relegation teams attack. Yeah, right less, now. Less yeah. Except the bridge, this yeah, architectural yeah, structure. They, Except they, this architectural structure. So, 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 Blanco, so, so you're saying that he breaks through to the record? Yeah, I'm also saying Chelsea Football Club are eight points. Yes, 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 y
but then I didn't expect them to bully defenders like this, bro. Like this guy is this is ridiculous. HH, I think his first goal, the guy, the defender was holding onto him, clinging onto him, and he just shrugged the guy off and just uh, scored. It, HH, you know, I remember, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but when he was playing for Bruce Dortmund, that was one of the Bayern Munich games. Joshua Kimmich wanted to yes. take him out, wanted to take the guy out. I, and he I got I, injured. I, Bro, I, the guy wanted to hurt Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland just ran through the tackle. It was a bad tackle. And the guy got took it off in the stretcher and was out for five games. But this guy is not normal, HH. This guy is not a human being, HH. This guy, I mean, he is fast. He is powerful. This guy, is, is this is ridiculous. And then the last thing I'm going to say is like, well, so I was watching this game. And when J- Julian Alvarez, shout out to him, brilliant goal. Baller. But, baller. but if you watch... Guess who was standing by himself in the middle of the uh, 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 in the middle of the goal? It was Erling Haaland. He could have scored more goals if his teammates say, "You know what? We don't want to score goals anymore," and just start feeding him. This guy can literally break the record. Like, no, no, no. Yeah. It's it's, we can it's see good, six. We can see six. Scary. It's scary. Yeah. Okay, okay, look. Okay, look. Also, now, how bad could this team be with Haaland, man? As I said, if 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 what Yasser says is um, happens, and they just say, "Hey, all the goals to Haaland," we could genuinely see sixty. Like, I'm not kidding. He already has almost two goals a game. There are 38 games in the Premier League. Now, obviously, this is just theoretical, right? This is just theoretical because, you know, he will get injured probably. He will probably be arrested for a few games. But I think he will get, I think he'll break the record. I think he'll get something like 40 goals. And you know what's so funny about this? You know how last week after the Crystal Palace game, there came out some news that uh, managers in the Premier League are looking, are speaking with each other to find a way to stop Erling Haaland. And then the first manager to go up against Erling Haaland gets a hat trick against him in the first half. <laughs> so basically, Bro, it's just basically failing. It's, it's literally like, not. It's a cheat code. This guy is going to get forty goals in the season. Just, even if he gets though? injured for no, no, ten no, but, games. But, but, but you know the thing about it is that you know but before he got signed, everybody made comparisons with like Ibrahimovic. Yeah. But yeah. there's a key difference here. Ibrahimovic He's is so a, fast. Is, no, 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 Ibrahimovic is a way better player technically than. Um, Haaland and has got just a lot more to his game, but Ibrahimovic was never that prolific a goal scorer, and I don't think his goal scoring um, characteristics are as good as Haaland in terms of movements, eye for goal, anticipation. So Pep has something that he's never really had: a natural number nine striker that is tall and big. Because really, Messi was Messi, but in terms of just like a goal, a guy who is just a goal scorer pure goal scorer he's never really had you know what's a shocking thing for me is you know i'm not you know everyone is a hype people you know like when uh felix when he broke out from benfica at the the europa league campaign but he was unbelievable next big thing and again darwin newness with benfica i remember when i didn't no one knew him in moda so i don't want people to speak of moda but when he was doing that what he was doing at salzburg in the champions league and he got signed for bruce Dorman. it literally it was like midway through the season it was like a degenerate transfer window. I expected to be a period of transition for him going from Salzburg to Dortmund. But once he landed in Dortmund, he just continued to start scoring goals. Wait, what that, if that was sorry, a moment what if I was, was made? That, go ahead, go ahead. No, that's a moment I was like, you know what? You drop this guy anywhere, this guy's gonna score goals. This guy doesn't need to adapt at this point. This guy's gonna score goals. Can I say one more thing? Can I say one more go for thing? Because uh, uh, that point about how he was made in a lab, I feel like he, he could be made by Alfie just as the ultimate revenge against uh, what's his name? The guy that broke his leg? Um, Roy Keane. Roy Keane. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I will say one thing. Look at this bench from Man City. This is this could be a problem for them. This could, I know we made a joke about De Bruyne, but they have five players over the number 80, right? So their bench really is not very good. So I think in terms of the Premier League, their squad depth could hold them back if they get injuries. But that's really the only thing that could stop them from winning. I think maybe we could now, see a situation that where... Back, by the way, that was bad training. What's up? Back, all the guys back, were injured at back, back training. training. Oh, okay, they yeah, so they're them. back training. Yeah, okay, yeah. So that's how bad it is. He didn't bring them. That, so, that, so, that is so, done. That is done. There goes that. Okay, so let's see what guys. So Patrick says, Haaland to Madrid in 2025. Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. I don't know. No, Bro, if, I mean, hey. if, if if Real call and your name isn't I don't think 2025 by a country. I think like two years after that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to your boy, Brian. Um, Holland, 
twice, twice. Pepsi, yeah, look, bro. Mm-hmm. Box of Park hat tricks, man. Box is mad, man. Shout out to your boy, Mo. So, clowns, every single one of you clowns. Mo is an Astro fan, by the way. Shout out to Astro. So, uh, they're going to win the league, right? <laughs> I was told Premier League is football's equivalent of World War II battlefields. Bro, he, they're, they're making it a joke. They're making the Premier League. The Premier League is a joke, bro. Laugh my ass off. Holland has... Okay, all right. So we don't really need to go there. Um, Zeno, call your friends. Things are happening. <laughs> Did, did you know that Eric has gone into hiding? Because I think Eric is looking at what Arsenal are doing. I think Eric has gone into deep hiding. <laughs> 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 um, don't worry, we will give you a proper title challenge. Uh, They'll be out by February. Yeah, I don't show that. Pep's User assistant. 04. Holland is at scoring Lewandowski and Benzema. Hashtag Farmers. That's crazy. It's possible. That's crazy, um, Sinossi. Erling didn't even give poor noodles a chance. Noodles, Nunes, Nunes. This were cra- oh, bro. Do you know that if I see Pep, I'm gonna Patrick, I hate him. I hate this. Patrick, guy. if I see Pep, I'm gonna slap him in the face. That video is the video of a filthy, stinking actor. This guy actually had real tears and said they can't replace a girl. Can I can I say something to you? You can't. Patrick Pep Guardiola can't. is a liar. He's a liar. Do you know what he said days ago? This guy is a liar and a troll. Do you know what he said? He said, Oh, they were saying, Are you gonna sign somebody else? He's like, No, 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 we're not. But you know what? He winks at them. He says, We might wake up in the morning and you never know. We'll sign a center back and laughs and walks away. Guess what? Next morning, Fabrizio, deal done. Uh Dortmund. Here we go. <laughs> I can't see you. That's a liar, man. Okay, Bezzy, Angie, yeah. um, H, could it be that this is genius Bolly told the Took to tank the season? <laughs> Tell me! You're telling me he's trying to do a, a Philadelphia 76ers. <laughs> They're trying to take it. That's the process. <laughs> Oh, nah, this is a W, that's, man. This is a w. That's a W, guy. <laughs> Bezzy, this is probably Bezzy, one of the greatest that's, that's, in the history that's, of the channel. Bezzy, make, him be- make Bezzy a horseman, man, please. Make Bezzy a horseman. <laughs> but imagine after the window shuts. Wait, there's no draft? <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? What are these Queen Lizzie merchants? Uh, Queen Lizzie, please. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, oh, no, no, no. Gosh. You know, you know how HHB yes, calling, sir. calling, no, calling no, Todd B okay. and Brown. Sam is a my boy. Sam is a horseman. Bezzy horseman, man. You're a horseman now. You're horseman. Um, Sam, I was yeah. watching Liverpool. I was, I was watching mm-hmm. the Liverpool Newcastle game. <laughs> okay. okay, Sam. Let me just let me just come right out and say let's because I, I I hate sort of like building up to stuff. Was Isaac onside? Yes or no? For the second goal, he, he was. He was onside. He was onside. And the reason why is I say that... he's onside is because I've seen tight or calls given offside, and I mean literally toenails being offside. So looking at that, it was a little bit more clearer than what I've seen before. But personally, for me, with the offside rule, and I'm I'm even gonna say this even though it benefited my team, I think you should give the benefit of the, of the doubt to the attacker, personally. You know, because, you see, when, when I, first of all, it was a superb goal by because for me, I'm like, I think we are losing the spirit of the offside rule and what it's about. Because my thing is that, you know, like, when you, you look at that, such a I'm like... Slope. You go down such a slippery slope if no, you no, no. even try to do something like that. No, but, but, but you know, I, you know I've, I've always said that, if there's, I think they used to have this before, like if there's space between the last man and like the last defender, if you can, if you can see space before, then that's offside. Because this whole thing of like your pubic hair is offside and then that gets rolled off. I mean, bro, come on, bro. I mean, because the whole idea is we don't want guys to go hanging. You know, and the whole point of football is that it is difficult to, to, to score and everything. But if it's getting to the point of where it is literally, mil, you're literally millimeters offside. I'm like, bro, like, I just think that the people have gotten the wrong end of the spirit did of he, the rule. So just quick thing, did the official flag for offside initially? Yeah, he actually yes. did. Yeah, so did. so 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 the, the current ruling from what I understand it really, because they have to try and be more lax with VAR, is that 
if the they will go to they always tend to go to VAR to look at, at the goals anyway, but they might not have to notify the referee, but they always check it anyway. But if the on if the on field ref if it's like close, if the on field referee has given the off, off offside decision, they will not overrun that off uh, referee, even if it's slightly mm. over, slightly under. That's no, how it goes. I don't think that's so, how it is. I think with yeah. offside, it's very, very, very clear of you are either offside or you are onside. No, no, I agree. I agree. But so one, I guess what I'm trying to say is that with all this kind of like a millimeter here or millimeter there or something or like 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 that, from from what they've said, this is coming from uh, who's that white, white guy the, who's retired? He's in BT Sports somewhere because he explained oh, yes. the rules. Like he explained the rules recently, so I remember watching it and they were saying that they were trying to be essentially like it's not like yeah, if his foot is offside, something they're going to fly. Of course they are, but it's just that. When it comes to those types of decisions, mm. if the on-field official has given it as offside or onside, unless like it's like so bad or so, they're not going to they're not going to um, overturn the on-field decision. So what, the, what the, the initial decision no, 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 is, no, 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 but looks, I think I'll, yeah. again mm. that is that sort of an inmost point. So, so my thing though is now I put it to the that at Liverpool that something seems off about the attack. The Liverpool fans came back and said, wait, wait, what are you on about? No, the issue is the midfield. The attack has scored all these amounts of goals. And I think they missed the points I was making. I said, the way that the attack is sort of flowing, it just seems as if it's does, it doesn't feel as cohesive or as threatening as it normally once was. Because I think like Newcastle could, should, could have, maybe should have gotten a, a draw out of it. And my thing though is, do you look at this crazy 98 minutes thing by Kakavali as like, this will not upset your season, or do you think that's no? There are still major issues, almost to the extent of it's going to be very, very key as to how Liverpool reacts to this. Because if you react the, the wrong way, it could hamper your season. Because if your reaction is that all oh, Liverpool is back, the magic is back, this is what we needed. 98 minutes go, hey, we just need it more guys, we're all good, it's not going to give us a thing. Or the real reaction is cool, we got away with that one. <laughs> Be, that, I mean, that could have been points drops. So we have to still be serious and actually hamper. So how do you react to that Cavalio within goal? Just whole pie in terms of what Liverpool can do in terms of touch? Because I think it, it's over, personally, but talk to me. When we beat Bournemouth 9-0, um, I still said that... Um, that I remember there was people saying, oh, Liverpool are fine. And I was like, you do realise it's Bournemouth. Right, they deserve to be in League One. Um, yes, Man City only beat them 4 0, and Arsenal beat them, I think, either 2 0 or 3 0. We did score nine, but you have to put things into perspective that we still need a midfielder. We cannot rely on Thiago, KR, Curtis Jones, Oxley Chamberlain because of the fact that even what you think of them, they come back play one or two games, get injured again. That's that's not going to happen. So, with this game, it's more of like, I'm happy for the win and the, the way it was because of the time wasted with Newcastle. And people are, are, are complaining about, oh, why did they um, add on like eight minutes? Well, blame Newcastle. It's because they were time wasting. Um, like, I mean, um, Pope was on the floor for, I think it was in the, like, the 93rd minute for around two minutes he was on the floor for. And they were sorting him out. So you, the referee is obliged to add on time. <laughs> like he's literally obliged to add no, on time. No, you can do that. Like that's that's BS, bro. I mean, they do that all the time. No, no, no. no, 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 no what, yes, you, the ref has to add on time though. Are you now, talking? Bro, an extra I'm time? Answer, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Ex- Fergie was okay. doing that the whole of his career. What are you talking about? I mean, we oh, got away. We paid the ref. We paid the ref. I'm telling oh, you, oh, you, you, you paid the ref. Yes, I admit it. See, can you admit it? Can you admit it? Oh, hold on, hold on. But can you admit it? No, 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 no. You only just admit it because I stuck it on you. No, 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 but can you admit it? No, 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 no. Can you admit it? Before. Okay, see, see, see. Look at the shameless. 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 We paid the ref. We did. Yes, yeah. Yes, we should make it. It's my time. This guy, man. Man United. So, it's random question. Can you microwave styrofoam? Yes, Not good. No, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, because I'm trying to heat this up. Oh, no, I, no, I, don't I, do I, it. I, I don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, put it different in a bowl. Okay, put it in a bowl. But anyways, yeah, that's yeah. random. <laughs> yeah, that's random. <laughs> um, um, yes, you meet your mic because it's not yeah. your time, and yeah. really and truly, he was crap, anyways. But anyways, as I was saying, when, when it when it comes to the game, 
if you actually look at how the way we scored the first goal, who who gave the pass to Salah in the first place? It was Elliot. How did he give him the pass? He just gave him a forward pass. None of our midfielders were doing that for the whole time. And the reason why the, the attackers are not playing as well is because our midfielders are not helping them out at all. They're not giving them the passes. Why do you think when Thiago comes back, or even Naby Keita at times when he's, he's, he's on his A game, that our attackers play a lot better? Because they're giving them the full passes when they're making the runs. It's as simple as that. I mean, Elliot did it for, for the first time. And guess what? We scored. Come on, they're like, put, put two and two together. Um, Carvalho, and I think, I know people were talking about Darwin Nunes, and I, I actually said this before, I think Carvalho will be a better signing than Darwin Nunes because I, I rate the kid a lot. But every time he's come on, he's made a difference some way or another. I mean, against Man United, even though he we didn't win, um, he was the guy that sh um, got the shot and then um, Salah got the rebound to score. I mean, even in the community shield, he was doing a little bit of something. In um, in the Crystal Palace game, he was doing something. So, personally for me, it's a thing where, all right, good good for the win, and that's good for morale, because if it was another draw today, I can't lie, our heads would have been down. But, bro, FSG, Klopp. Now, I know Klopp's already come out and said, OK, I was wrong, we need a midfielder. Why did it take you so long to actually admit that? So, so, so it's my thing, but like, so we have, I think we now have to put 24 hours. So, can it's anything happen happening. in the next 24 hours? It's not happening. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be so realistic with you. It's not happening. And that's why I said I can see the league because we need, we need midfielders. We need numbers. We cannot rely on midfielders that will get injured as soon as they come back. Like, this team is, is, is a great, is a, is a great team. And I, I, I already said that, um, even though our uh, first five, six, seven games, we will we'll we'll start bad. I know that this Liverpool team can can um, can click, and it, um they they can pile on the pressure for what for the rest of the season. However, for me right now is that how long are we going to be relying on guys that get injured most of the time? We can say Thiago's going to come back, Keita's going to come back, this guy's going to come back, that and, guy's And also, you can't have a midfield of Milderson, bro. Exactly. is crazy. My That's goodness, crazy. I, I got to a point in the match that I said, I don't want to see Milner on the pitch ever again because he was spamming aimless balls to wear, to absolutely wear. And I said, it's, it's, it's kind of indicative of it is that Red, um, or Los Bancos, see, I was about to call you Red Devil, but Los Bancos Studios said this in the Man City game. Man City were up five, no, I believe. And who did they bring on? The boy, no. they brought on um KDB. We were one nil down, we brought on Milner. Come on now, <laughs> <laughs> that evil laugh. This is why I said, I can see the league. <laughs> This is why I said I can see the league. We can't be doing that. One more point. I remember this one guy. We we had um, a midfield of Harvey Elliott, Milner, and Henderson, and he said, "What what top Premier League team would all those midfielders or that those three midfielders get into?" None. Probably United no, no, before no. before. Nah, uh, not before now. Casemiro. I said not Premier now, League. but before. Exactly. And this is why I personally said I can see the league. Because we can't run like that. Mid the midfield is so important. The midfield Can you is say that so one more time, please? I, 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 my, something was up with my mic. Actually, you I said don't know. You actually, the no, 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 Sam, do you think that there are actually Liverpool fans who still believe? Because, cause again, my thing is that it's not me being rude on anything, but I think if you're a Liverpool fan and you actually believe that there's a chance of winning the league, especially after the Haaland conflict we just had, and we're actually going to get onto Arsenal, then you're living in that quarter dream, la la la. Because I just think mm. that when you just look at the bigger picture here, with what City have and the weapons they have, and how good Arsenal just look as a unit, it's, 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 it's Liverpool's chance to win that league was last year. Last year, yeah. Liverpool's chance to get us. But I, I think. It the thing is, with, with with last year, it was more of like people didn't expect Liverpool to come back like that. Because if you remember when we drew against um Chelsea two two, I remember mm -hmm. the talk about it. Or oh, Chelsea and Liverpool took themselves out of the title race. Yeah, and 
it was it was it was City. But then yeah, I think it was the, the, the signing of Diaz and we went on this run. And then yeah. so, suddenly now Sam, how many points back. did you claw back again? Was it 15? It was like, like, yeah, like 13 or 14 points. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, that's it's, crazy. It's, and, and also remember that's not them game. That's but a good experience. But that's an anomaly. That's not gonna happen. You're not gonna claw back 13 points on Pep's team. You're not gonna do what, that again. They're, they're mentality monsters. Stop it. When 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 Liverpool click, there's no doubt about it. Even you can Patrick can banter and Vato, you can banter as well. But you, you've seen Liverpool put on runs that it's been like 10, 13 win, yeah, um, yeah. game. Yeah. So Liverpool That's can cool, do though. that. Liverpool can do that, but for me, but not the this reason Liverpool, why... not this one. No, no exactly. No. That, that, that's what, what I'm saying is that the reason why I can see this league is because of the fact that we can't be relying on midfielders that are brilliant but get in injured every two games. What's the point? Yeah. Then we're going to no, 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 have... and, and I think, and I think because a lot of you see, a midfield is very important to every, for every single team. And when Liverpool were able to go on those runs, Wijnaldum Ronaldo was very important. Gene Henderson we, had legs. We still, we still haven't replaced him. Just saying. Yeah, like so, and these are very crucial guys. Like I think, because really? himself was Wijnaldum, Was that a mistake letting him go, or rather, mm. if you let him go, you have to replace him. And mm. there was no replacement of that attacking midfielder because there isn't a midfielder who links the attack and the midfield. So literally, the attack and midfield are just separate entities now, because Henderson doesn't have the the, the legs anymore. Like, Henderson, his legs have just gone, and yeah, and Wijnaldum is is missed. So. It's, and for me, I just think, look. Okay, before I go to that, Sam, Salah. What what are we saying about Salah now? So far, <laughs> the, the, thing is about, the thing is about Salah is that, <laughs> that first of all, I'm, 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 I know. Do you know what? I'm going to be so honest with you. I'm yeah. onto you because you asked for that much money, and this is the performances that you, you're bringing. Like you asked for Sam, that much we money. We warned you, bro. We like, warned you. We warned you. We no, it's not, it's not about how uh, you, you warning me and any anything. So yes, yeah, stop the Sarah comment. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Keep your mic muted. Keep your mic muted. It's, right. it's yeah, Christmas yeah. tax, man. Christmas yeah. tax. You support, Christmas you support tax. Man United. You don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, uh, as one I was league saying, title in more than thirty years. <laughs> what, what, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, when was the last time you actually won a trophy? Okay, so next, um, so when we're talking about blame Pogba, he put Juju yes, on yes. us. He put you down. I'm going to cut this guy's my meter. Sorry, Sam, please. When we're talking about Salah, I never knew that he needed a midfield as much as I, I, knew, I knew now. Because if you actually look at it, Salah's performance was actually... It, 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 it wasn't really that good. He got an assist, though. Today. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are we rewriting history, though? Are we are we rewriting history? Did did you guys ever rely on the midfield the way you guys are describing right now? Like a lot of no, your it, yeah, the midfield was important. The midfield was our engine room. We always said that. No, no, we but all... not for creativity. Your engine room was to win the ball back and to get it to Trent or Robertson. That's just what I agree saying, about. Yeah, what you're saying is that from the to, from the time that um Klopp first got his team and that was 2018 2019 season the midfield will remember the brexit midfield that was the engine room and then we'll, we'll go and um pass it to R robertson and trent to spam in the crosses and we'll score goals now Klopp has tried to evolve that where pe teams were finding us out and because we were only just having the creativity from them bringing tiago so we have something else so that's what i'm saying the midfield is important now because we, we were too one dimensional. Yeah, That's I agree what... that it's important. I just, the, the emphasis that you're making, I feel it's it's giving Salah an out. Salah's not what? performing. Why are we wasting I, I need... time? Sam, 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 why are we wasting time? I can tell you the answer right now. Do you know okay. why Salah is thinking? Why Salah is thinking right now? Do you know why? Well, because money. 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 Everybody used to go to money. Watch your games. Everybody had the attention at money. Gave that dusty they don't want to talk about space. it, Patrick. They don't want to talk you, about it. No, 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 Samuel. I want you to go watch your games. People, even city city players, used to flood, flood, flood money, and it gives space to Salah. And now, yeah. guess what? Nobody cares about Diaz because he would dance around, do his dribbles, and he would score once in a while. Yay! But he made a player fall. I mean, it's, 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 no, okay, he made so, a defender no, fall. See, 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 I was trying to be cordial, Sam, but I think <laughs> let's. Talk about my West African brother because you know Senegal is his name. Nigeria, so they're yeah, like our, our neighbors. Because so, my thing is, it's like every time I've said this on because you know what I always do, 
anytime like Liverpool are strong, they are put up like the money pick of him smiling. Like he's he's got like a, a, a like a, a, a great African smile. I always always put that on Twitter. And the Liverpool fans just come and attack by saying, "Yo, blah blah, you Nigerian piece of crap, all that kind of stuff." They, they get very easy to fall for So so, I, I think I think Ricardo was one of those I say as well. So so my thing so. Is there an issue with Mane with regards to what he brings, even if he doesn't score, just what he brings to the to the team and how he is more of a threat and more problematic to deal with than Diaz is? And because of that, as Patrick just said, it gives Salah wiggle room. What you now have is Firmino is washed. And Firmino isn't is not really a threat that you should be worried about. Diaz, again, He's skillful, but he's very predictable. So now, all of the focus is now on Salah, because really, it's like we have to we have to have an agenda for Salah. We have to have a defensive agenda for Salah, a defensive agenda for Mane. We don't need a defensive agenda for um, Diaz or Nunes or Jota. But now we cannot put our focus on Salah. So once that happens, Sam is Salah going to struggle to, to get G's? Because if you have a situation where Salah doesn't really get his twenty twenty five thingy, then we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Should we have that is, money discussion? The problem with this conversation is that everybody's got already got an answer in their mind. So any any other answer that is not in in their minds, they're not going to deviate towards it. And I'm already I'm bringing a perspective where there could be other things. Now here's why I'll, I'll admit it: money was a short term issue for us, but not a long term issue. The short term issue is that we're transitioning from money to Luis Diaz and Darwin. Um, newness now instantly you will see the impact that money um had left on us when he when he, when he actually left because you're pl- you're playing guys that let's be honest Lewis, Lewis Diaz is not a um is not a um what's it called he's not a money in the sense of his unpredictability and also Darwin um newness technically abil- technical ability is not there so already you will see you will see the deficiencies in that. But in the long term, once we transition into the play, the type of players that um, um, Luis Diaz and Darwin Nunes is and what their strengths are, then you will see a lot more of, okay, this is why we bought them. This is what we're transitioning into. But short term, yes, I agree. Because we... Mane was one of the um, the guys that actually started off the Klopp era um, or the Klopp, the Klopp team. He was one of the guys. So... You're, you're talking about a guy that's been in this club team for about four or five years, won practically everything with this team, and now he's left. There's going to be a big short-term hole in that. But what we just need to do is transit. We're in a transitioning period. There's no denying that. There's no denying that. Um, um, yeah, so what are you saying about, about this about this Liverpool thing? I'm, 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 I'm sorry. You know, I love, I love Mane, but I, I do agree with Samuel. He, but here's the thing, though, like, it's the competition. It's when you compete against Man City, like, Man City are just crazy, HH. Like, they lost uh, Raheem Sterling and um, Gabriel Jesus. They replaced with Nunes and Holland. Yes, yes, it, 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 that's not fair. Yes, no, that's he has to stop. Fair. No, he has to stop. They didn't lose Raheem Sterling. They sold us a guy who was on the way down. Patrick, I need a res- I, I need that respect. So he's your ah, best don't player. You dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> no, 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 because this no, 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 saves because you. I need, <laughs> no, I need Jesus. I saw your tweet. I saw your tweet. When Patrick, you not, like, Patrick not all I black people look, 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 look alike. But HH, think, he's being your best player. He's being your best player. So HH, he's yes, being your best player. Sterling Pounds. You call yes, it Sterling Pounds. Yes, yes, yeah. Talk. The architect. You should have bought both, though. But then you should have bought both. Jesus and Raheem, I think you should have taken both. Patrick, I dealt with the bridge last night for, for two hours. Please don't bring my... Think, you, know what, think... you, you know what this sounds like? This sounds like Man City giving you hand-me-downs because this is just bad. We got this the sloppy seconds. Really we, we got this. Yeah, the sloppy seconds. Yeah. But, but here's the thing, guys. I, I generally... Okay, yes, I I agree with Sam. It's like a... like What he said was on point about money. It's like you're going to fill the mind void now. But long term, you know, it's like... You know, he was over, over, I think it's over 30. So uh, eventually you will have to replace him. And then... Oh, because because... Old. Wait, no, so no, no. Like, so, so, no, no, so no. How, how old is Benzema? No, no, no. no. I, HH, I, I, like I say, El Dio. But HH, 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 HH I, I love El Dio. So I love, that's my guy. El Dio is my guy. I don't care if you play for Liverpool. I used to play for Liverpool. I don't care. I love El Dio. But I think, I think, I think we're all also overlooking Jota. 
the people forget like Jota was a scoring guy. That guy used to score a lot of goals. And you used to bang in goals, guys. And that's the one thing that they're missing now. It's like if Stern, I mean, um, if Salah is not scoring, if Nunes is a is a is stupid and takes a red card, where are you gonna get their goals from? Because Diaz, he he will score goals, like because of the banger he scored, but he is not a high volume goal scorer. Oh, no, 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 but, but, he's but, just but, not that dude. Answer, my thing is, is like, because whenever I bring up money, people say, well, he didn't have a good start to last season, which which is true. But let's say they still kept money. Money was money from Afcon was yeah, fully yeah, yeah. on form. So you still yeah. have an on form money who was really on form from January all the way through. So my thing though is I just still feel like if you have a guy who can who can still be of use, that's what I'm saying. And I just think that it's a guy who people are not really fully it, ap- appreciating. You know, so you know, you know, it's it's ideally, and this is impossible because of their whole way structure and everything. Ideally, you you think that what would be been best is you give both of them the money and still sign Darren Nunes, but that's impossible. Like they they would never do that to compete at this highest level. They won't do that. So now you lost Mane. Jota got injured, and I don't know when he's ever going to come back. You're you're relying on Salah and Nunes to score all your goals. You take away Nunes, then and Salah is on uh, he's on the funk, and he's going to come back. And he's gonna end up strong a lot of goals. Then you're like, bro, where are the goals coming from? Because like I feel like I feel like now, now I understand the midfield is not good, mm. but like like I think of uh, Vater said it earlier, you never got creativity from your midfield, you never got goals from your midfield. But the problem is now is very, very like it's like a, it's, it's it's more of a problem now because you're like, okay, I'm not getting goals. Salah is getting like I don't know what's happening to Salah. Uh, Darn Nunes, he headbutted some dude. <laughs> so, you're like, guys, out for three games. But where, where are we going to get the goals from? So, 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 I mean, that's the so, so, issue. So, so. so, general thing to the panel, just does anybody believe Liverpool can win this title still? Absolutely not. No. Wait, no, what, what do you mean? Why do you say still? Yeah, no. Like, like the, it's 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 no, 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 Why I say still is that um, it's five games. It's still very early. And nobody can predict the future. Crazy things have happened. Guys can go on on inex- inexplicable goal scoring runs and go for, 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 for droughts. So my thing is that from a very plain mathematical point of view, of course Liverpool can still go through because you know that football things can go on and off. So, but my argument as to why I just think that Liverpool cannot is because stop holding on to hey man, it's been Liverpool and City all the way through. Now, I did say that hey, I think that this is going to be like Real Madrid, Barcelona where these guys will occupy first and second for like the next few years. But I didn't believe that. I thought, I just assumed that Klopp would re- revamp. But H.H., you know what? Yeah. Oh, 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 Ricardo, sorry, Ricardo, you said absolutely not, though. Yeah, yeah I mean, they're already five, five, five points down, all right? Five games, Ricardo. It's five no, games. it's five games, but they're five points down. Liverpool aren't in great form. Man City are flying right now. Yeah. Um, like Samuel said, like, you know, they're in transition. I've said this before. I personally believe that the key for Liverpool to at least remain competitive was to keep both Mane and Salah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to me, they're a package deal. I, yeah. I believe if Salah had left and Mane's in, the, the situation doesn't change. Mm-hmm. It absolutely doesn't change. Um, and, and for example, like uh, Mane, people say Diaz. A rip. Diaz was the actual replacement for Mane. It was yeah. just Mane's brilliance that he could actually be versatile and play as a center forward. Meanwhile, Firmino was declining. But at the same time, we can't sit here and act like Mane wasn't declining because he wasn't as effective on the wing. And Mane, let, let's be honest, like as much as credit you want to give him for the second half of the season, you can't go missing the first half of the season like that. Because what if Mane and Salah were kicking off for the first half of the season? That title race could maybe look a little different. And it wasn't just the first half of the season. It was also the all of 2020-21. Exactly. Well, we have – look, there's a lot of revisionism going on, and we act Thanks. like like Mane was always consistent. He wasn't always consistent. Let's be honest. But he was clutch, though. He, he was, was clutch, though. I mean, was he really that clutch when they had three finals last year and nobody on the team scored? Was I he mean, really that I, clutch when Liverpool you – know everything guys, was oh, – I, I want to say a very bro. unpopular opinion. Okay. But I believe Rigi was more clutch than Mane. 
Anyways, Salah no, on the other. No, 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 no. And, 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 <laughs> Mane, 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 and Salah, Mane yeah. and Salah. Okay, okay, okay. But, so, so, hold on, hold on. Sam, no, 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 Ricardo. Okay, okay, I'll go no, no, but Sam, I just want to say Sam, that. Do you, no, I, no, no, Sam. Do you win the league? <laughs> do you win? Do you win that league title without Mane? Yes or no? Nice. Sam, it's a yes or no question. It's a yes or no question. We don't. We don't win the league title without Mane. Hundred percent. That two thousand and twenty. Mane was world class. Even Messi said he was the best player in the world at that time. They, that's 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 something to say. But Messi as Ricardo well, said, you you can't you can't. This is it's, it's revisionism. And the thing is, I don't want to I don't want to do this because I love Mane. He's the one that, he, as I said in, before in the beginning, he's the one that started this club team off with Firmino. But you want to disrespect so, my African brother? Well, they, no, no, I don't want to disrespect him. It's more of like where was he when Salah had to put Liverpool on his back to get top four? That's what was he? No, it's not. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, he literally listen, put him on his back. No, no. Salah, 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 literally, if you remove Salah from that season, bro, they, they might get anywhere, they're not anywhere near top. Four. Before they finish, bro, those, those, are, those are great. What if? Let me, then let's let me, see what Salah does this season now. Now, this great Salah, you know, you, you don't have Uncle Manny and so forth. Let's now see what Salah now oh does this season. Oh my god, that's a shameless take. No, no, it's it's true, true, no, 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 no
before when I said everything that I said, what did I say in the beginning about Salah? What, what did I say? I'm, I'm on him because he asked for the big bucks. So there's there's no denying that um I'm I'm I, I agree with everything what you, what everyone's saying, and um with Ricardo um I, I think he hit the nail on the head. What we what we need to do is just that Liverpool are in a transitioning period right now. We have new players that come on Darwin Nunes like we, he he he's he's my player, but he has no technical ability, and we need to adjust to a player like him. Do you get what I'm saying? We need to adjust yeah, yeah. the play. We need but to have time. He, he, but he doesn't need it. He doesn't no, need it. Sam, He's a let's battering let's, ram. No, but let's keep it. Let's keep it a stack too. As much as we want to look at things on the field, having Ma, uh, Salah, sorry, Sa, Salah on your team, there's a huge market yeah. that you're tapping into because of the name he has. So it was actually yeah, yeah. very valuable to keep yeah. Salah over Mane. But the reality is, is that Liverpool, the amount of money that's being invested, they need to stay competitive. So they kept Salah. What they, what Liverpool? Oh, could, what Liverpool, you're a bro, werewolf nice. right now, Ricardo. Bro, you're what, a what Liverpool could have done is just explode the whole thing because the solid mana thing is over and ship them both out and start for a new, but they can't afford to do that. What, 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 I'm going to say my last piece just... and then we're going to... I'm, I'm tired of talking about this. But if you were to, if it was up to me and everybody says, Sammy, what would you want? I would have, I would have rather kept Mane and Salah. Come on now. But the thing is, what 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 what, what it all comes down to is what FSG's flipping way structure Bro, is. Yes. There was only one way we're going to keep one or sell the other. Keep Salah, sell Mane, keep Mane, sell Salah. There was only so going to be one way. So, uh, uh, yes, yeah, I agree with you. So, that's yeah. it. Let me let me make it so, 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 do this. Um, QCA, most goals scored in the top five league is 50. Ellen, Ellen Haaland <laughs> isn't scoring... 50 goals in the Premier imagine, League. imagine. Okay, hold up. If he scores 50 goals in the I Premier give up. League, I need legal access to Buckham Palace. Simple. I need legal access to Buckham Palace. Like, open those freaking <laughs> gates, bro. Like, op open those gates, yeah, and yeah. I need to. I and I need. I need to. I need to, because if that happens, like, let's let's, let's, let's you know what they're gonna say. Though. Though. Old, you know what they're gonna say. Best strike of all time. They're gonna say better than Alan Shearer. This guy is the best, best no, no, actually, everything, no, no, bro. Was, I'm actually curious to see what Haaland does because yeah. there's a part of me that wants Haaland to do something crazy to see how the media are going to react to it. It'll probably be something Viking related, I imagine. So Alan loves him though. Alan, Alan, Alan Shearer loves Haaland. He no, loves no, Haaland. Yeah. He's hyping him every every goal. No, my, 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 no, my whole point is that if he comes in here and literally just in his first season, mm. Bundesliga attacks in his first season just decimates this league. What are we saying? I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, and, 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 because this is what I've always said, and I didn't want to mention this, Sam, but I've got to be real. Let's, Sam, you have to admit this. The media prefers Liverpool over Man City. 100%. The media oh, wants Liverpool over everybody. Over everybody. I, the I, media I, doesn't I, like listen, Man because, City. 100%. The, the media are most disgusting. disgusting. Could, of ex Liverpool players and ex Man United players, yeah, but true. that's just how it is. How it is. It's just how it is because obviously we we got the two biggest histories in in England. No, 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 no. They, I'm, they, no, they no, were, no, they, no. I'm talking about journalists, no. prints. So just regular. So for, I'm not talking about BT Sports and Sky Sports. Just like my, um newspapers, magazines. No, no. What, what I'm at, because we got the two. What they want to push is the, the Premier League. English history, boom, they want to push that. They want to push it, want to push it, want to push it. But even with me, I had to admit, when it came to, like, I even said it, the Champions League final, I said it on Terry's channel. Um, Who was it that was commentating? I had to turn it off because they were saying, oh, Liverpool, oh, if if they could try this, or oh, Liverpool, they're still doing yeah, well yeah, here. Yeah, and this, yeah, I was yeah, like, shut up, man, we're not doing Owen, anything. Owen, 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 yeah, Owen, Owen, Owen. yeah that's, that's Michael yeah. Owen, though. Michael Owen. Yeah. Owen. But I hate that guy. I hate that Hey, Church, can I say that's something strange? I can't, uh, I can't stand it. Patrick, go for it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, right, and I'm going to tell you this for free, guys. I bet you Haaland can score 40 or 50 goals, right? And then uh, Firmino scores maybe 19 and has a good season by scoring the 19, I bet you they will give one of the awards to Firmino. 100%. Yeah, PFA, PFA, yeah, 100%. Uh, Pat, Patrick, you know, you know what was so crazy about that? Guess who was the manager of the season last season? Do you remember the Henderson thing? Do you remember the Henderson thing? That was, you guys, how dare you? you but the thing is, do you know what's so right? Henderson to De Bruyne. Henderson that, wasn't that even season. the best player on the team. 
this almost even the no, best no, 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 see, see, Sam, talk to me. Because I, for me, I thought this was a lie. How did the yeah. club get manager of the year? For imagine, bro. Imagine. Now, this, this, man, this is get, it gets a little bit stupid because I think... It's in four competitions, man. <laughs> this is where it gets stupid because what, what happens is that we're talking about Premier League. We're talking about Premier League. Yeah. It was Pep who was the best in the Premier League. Now, if you were talking about the other other, other things like what we mm. did in other competitions, of course, Klopp, because Champions League final, you won two domestic trophies, this, that, that. Yeah. But we weren't talking about Premier League. And this is where it does annoy me that and I'm I'm the most realistic fan that is out there. Yes. Give credit where credit is due. Yeah. Give credit where credit is due. Mm-hmm. Man City did what they did. They they won it. It's not like they they finished one point and they mm-hmm. didn't do it. They they won it. They won um four out of five. Give credit where the credit is due. One hundred percent. Big them up. Big them up. I don't and I don't think necessarily the pe- Premier manager here should go to the man who wins the Premier League. It might be there might be mm-hmm. another manager in the league that does something special, for true, example. So true. like if. If David Moyes, Moyes won, Moyes, if for Moyes instance, like that, who had gone fourth, then you'd say, yeah, "Oh, there was nothing he special about Klopp." But it wasn't. But it wasn't yeah, special. Yeah. So I agree. Yeah. 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 I'm like Vieira was... did amazing job um, at Palace. Wait, bro. Um, what's it called? Um, Casey, Messi is still ten times the player as Pace Bappe. Of course. Where's Messi's one cup? Of Where's course. Cup? No, no, yeah, no, no, no. That's yeah, true, though. Yeah, that's Casey, true. But Casey, we know why now, and we're going to talk about that later. We yeah, know I'm why that's true. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Yeah. Dajo, um, Premier League fans claim that the EPL is more technical than La Liga are clowns. Most exciting prospects of EPL is a bulldozer. Shout out to Pep. Hashtag pace and power. Hashtag the land. This is what I've always said about the Premier League. The Premier League has the narratives, the storylines, the fans, and so forth. In terms of quality of football, bro, I was watching that. That Chelsea Southampton game was garbage. In <laughs> terms of just quality football, are you sure that was a Premier League issue? Or, or <laughs> yeah, that's what Chelsea does. That's what Chelsea that's, does. That's, 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 genuinely, that's, watching yes. Chelsea, let's, let's it's like, like it's in my Southampton were playing good. Detroit, Rock City. Were playing good. <laughs> Detroit, Rock City. Detroit, 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 Rock City. What's happening to the weak mentality monsters? Hashtag clown LFC. <sighs> oh, 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 um, TKO. If Maximum played Liverpool, yeah, Liverpool. yeah, people need to remember. <coughs> if Maximum had played today against Liverpool, Liverpool would have lost that game. Keep this one team has a front line of Sterling, Havertz, and Mount. Our team could have a, a front line of I, Isaac, Gimares, and Sir Maximum. That Newcastle front three, that's serious, man. And Callum Wilson. Do you, know what, do, you, do you know what the thing is? Is that um um people can testify to this. I actually said um before the Newcastle match that I'm very scared about it. Now, even with Man City, they might have had a bad day, but they drew against Man City. Do you get what I'm saying? They drew, that's something. That is something. But what, imagine what they did against us. But I didn't I actually realize. I didn't realize the amount of um injuries that they had or um people that they had about. And this is when. Ricardo, when you remember when you asked me, oh, something, why do, don't you <laughs> look like too happy? You know, that we just won. I said, listen, we have to put it into perspective. I'm happy about the win, but really and truly, we struggled for that win. So, can I ask um, a question? Quick, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go through the jobs I make. So, Master Rosario, I was told Bundesliga tax was a thing. <laughs> I guess it only Chelsea. applies to my bombers, Juventus London, team. London Blues, interesting. Oh, London. Now, you, you know what it is? This guy's, you know yeah, what, what it actually is with Haaland? Haaland is not actually a Bundesliga product. He is from the Norwegian league and he's from the Austrian league. That's why I, he's I am telling you now, if, if Kai Haver signed for Man City, you would ball. If, if, if Timo Werner yes, signed for Mike. Mike. Liverpool, yes, you would ball. Yeah. 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 He's right. He's right. So, sorry, Sam? Relax, you're flaring nostrils about calling us trash. Like, we didn't just thump you at Old Trafford a few days ago. You're in the mud with us. Wake up and smell the coffee, bro. You got the nose for it still. Big Holy crap. Get him. Get him. Holy shit. You know what's so bad? I rate it. I rate it. I rate it. Because you know what's so bad? I used to be in that position. I used to be in that position. When Man United were doing well, this is the this is the things that I'll be saying to Man United fans. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Adams, man. Shane, um, why are you watching the Premier League when you already know the way? Bro, the Serie A um, today, man. Serie A was popping off. 
Yeah. 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 Popping off today. Yeah. Yeah. Looks, interesting. And 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 not so well, Your 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 doppelganger drops is a two piece. Yes, yesterday. Bro. Yeah, and Gesu's top. Time. Now Gesu's top by himself because um Lazio couldn't keep a one 0 lead well, the last was... minute. They conceded. No so way. No. He's alone. Home. He's alone. By himself. Guys, no, no, see, no, guys, here's my thing though. Um, or goat. Premier League. Arena City have already won it, but no. this is still going to be a very exciting season because also of the narrative. Because we're gonna, because we're gonna have a carnival. Because you said that it's already no, no, the winner. Do we? No. Because we're gonna have to talk about this, this team very soon. Well, HS, you didn't um, keep we'll... Shane. Shane is a, a Bayern fan. He had the and audacity of a Bayern fan to say that. Well, you, um, well, you want ten in a row. <laughs> wait, hold up, hold up. Abdul um, says it's simple. Bro, Mo Salah has contracted for the lights. Yeah. Oh, big yeah, contract. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, but he was already playing badly. He already well, played badly from Christmas, so it's more well, Christmas tax. Or well, Obba syndrome, I call it. Yeah, Obba Obba syndrome. Syndrome. Um, Obba syndrome. So hold on, um, Gatlock. Mane mostly effective in the UCL knockout stages. Eyes yeah. on Bayern. Yeah, yeah. Could 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 say say what's up for this dude, man? Could they say what's up for this dude? Um, actually, before we go to our next thing, um, is it possible that they can play against each other? Liverpool buy in the next round. Oh, if if yeah, buy finish like... second, right? Yeah, of course. And Barcelona yeah, but, but it's more likely that Liverpool finishes second. Yeah. I say ah, the... actually, with Bayern's group. Yeah. If, you, if you're talking about, top, it's possible. Talking about really, yeah, I wouldn't say last sixteen. I'll say quarterfinals will probably. Will be the most realistic um, option. Barcelona are probably top in that group, to be honest. So, like, yeah. no, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. oh, yeah, I mean, no, I, I, yes, Barcelona are top in that group. Yes. I mean, Upper Bacana is a brick, though. I'm not gonna lie, that guy is a brick. Yeah, that that is reason. bad. Yeah, yeah. No, Ricardo didn't even flinch when you said Barcelona would be top of that group. No, exactly. So, like, no, I said, I said, I said, I said, because Lewandowski is such a group stage merchant, like, he might just score. Bro, that goal was amazing, guys. That goal, the bro, I, bro, Lewandowski, people don't give. Hey man, enough credit for that no, sauce, he... bro. That was a saucy yes, goal. Yeah, relax. You're, you're, you're so hype up. You're so hype up. Well, Suarez literally it, scored a better goal than that. Like, he... Suarez was way guys, better. Guys, hold up. Okay, now, guys, sh- should we take them more seriously? Mm. Vaso, should we take them more seriously? Who? Vaso, should we take them more, more, more seriously? I'll take, <laughs> take who more seriously. Arsenal, Vato. Vato, Arsenal. you know who I'm talking about. Should we take the most seriously? Um, as as I think we need to because take... Vato, 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 I get attacked, I get abused in the demon says you disrespect us, you always abuse us, you always clown us. Yeah. Take us seriously. We are different right now. Light bulb lives. The light bulb lives. Should we take light bulb and what it's doing with these guys most seriously? Could they, realistically speaking, could they actually be title challengers? <laughs> See, it's all about the wordplay, and I wish you'd use title challengers when you were talking about Liverpool earlier as opposed to saying title winners. But in this case, with regards to Arsenal, to say challengers, yes, they are challengers. But they're not challengers for the title. They're challengers, ah. they're, they're challengers for the top four. And could they squeak? Could they squeak into being the third best team in the, in the league? Yes. Would Liverpool let Arsenal squeak past them? They better not. Because if they do, this Pep Klopp era is dead. I can't even argue it anymore. If Wait. Arsenal get ahead of Liverpool this season, then I can't talk about a Pep Klopp era. But, now, Vader, sorry, just into, yeah. can I ask you a quick question just to clarify something for me? Because uh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure about this. Because I think Arsenal, they've won on their games to got 15 points, right? Yeah. Okay. And I think. Chelsea have seven points, right? So, so. so, does, that, so does that mean that at this point in Chelsea are like are, 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 already eight, are, already, are they already eight points Vaito. behind Arsenal Football Club? So basically, Vato, so, 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 okay, no, 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 who do I answer okay. first? Who do I answer? No, 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 Vato, okay, no, 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 Vato, you answer the host first, the host, the guy that gave the invitation. So Vato, what happens is that eight points already. Vato, what happens is that this guy, this dude. Likes to divest the convo to, to basically clown <laughs> Chelsea. So, no, no, whenever no, this, so, so, so whenever this happens, ignore him okay. and just maintain your maintain your throat because this guy is a troll and he tries to no, do no, 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 So, Vesa, so I am now going to press mute on his thingy okay, and okay. Vesa, please proceed. Thank yeah. you. And no offense, Los Blancos, but 
I'm at oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Cause right offense. Now. Cause offense. Cause offense. Is it true that Arsenal has a goal difference of nine and that Chelsea has Oh, wow. You're going to be muting a lot of people today. Now, HH, I respect you for not saying their name. But Arsenal, they do, they do, they do deserve to be looked at differently. They have to be looked at differently. No, but, no, 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 yeah. no, you're being, Vito, I know you. I know well enough for you to like, let's talk that real talk. Oh, you want it real? Real. Should they be taken seriously or is it like, eh, eh? No, no, but don't take them seriously, but entertain them. All right, because wow, and entertain, wow, and entertain. wow. That's harsh. I, I, I don't think I said anything wrong. Anything wrong. I mean, we we <laughs> no, all we all. No, 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 you just said, don't take them to entertain them. So basically, humor them. Humor them, one hundred percent. Because they, ha- <laughs> they haven't shown they haven't shown this ability to to go the mile. They haven't been able to go the distance, right? When when they were asked to last season, they fell short. They they should have they should have gotten fourth, right? But what happened to them? They fell back. Now for them to fall back last season, now to expect them to challenge for the title that have shown that you need guts, you need the big brass. You know what I'm talking about to close this league out. Liverpool have shown what it takes. We've shown what it takes. We haven't seen Arsenal show us what it what it even takes to make top four. They're jumping the queue. They're trying to do things before they're ready. They have I'm two saying, ex-City players, though, that might be able to inspire them th- to do That so. is worrisome because the two ex-City players have brought that mentality, that winning tradition. They know what it's all about. They brought it there. But I don't believe that it's enough. Okay, so, well. okay, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, Let me make a small argument and I'll come to you. Actually, no, I want to come to um, Osuna, who hasn't really talk, talked to you before. So, okay, my argument is this. I can't remember the game at the Etihad, but the game at the Emirates, Arsenal did really well. And Arsenal would have felt that they were that they were really close into beating City. So the gap between Arsenal and City in that race. Now, that team... <clears throat> That did really well. They've gotten a lot better. I get, I know Haaland, Alvarez, come on, boom. But I think Jesus, um, Zinchenko, Saliba, I think Odegaard has moved to the next level. This is, I think this is a markedly better team than last year. Uh-huh. So isn't it conceivable that these guys can be consistent, be the, the small guys, and when they now face City, things could get interesting. So from that viewpoint, can you build a, a resume as to somewhat of a touch challenge? Or are you still like, ah, eh, nah? Uh, listen, their resume should read courses not yet completed. They're in training. Their resume is showing them. The resume is showing them that they're <laughs> building the resume, but they haven't completed it yet. HH, I'm not ready to say that they're wait, able so, to no, do no, it. Wait, 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 wait. Did you, do, wait, so, do you know what it is? Do, <laughs> yeah. Like, no, 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 no. No, no, you, 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 you talk in a tone that's respectful, but the words that come out of your mouth are extremely <laughs> so disrespectful, man. Oh my so, god! So it's, actually, it's actually an art. It's actually an art, you know, that you have. Very good art. Oh it's, it's my a very god! Good art because like. The way he talks is that like, oh, those guys talk very respectful. But when he actually listens to what he's saying, he's like, no, this guy's actually been extremely rude. But, but hey, 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 he says it. But so it makes... what, team does, what team does he support? City. Man, City. City. See, that's the thing. Who's the man? Pep. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but, oh, but also, who's who, who used to be Pep's assistant? Arteta. So it's like it, it's like he's treating him like he's little bro. He's treating him like he's little bro. Also, is Vezo being? not respectful enough of Arsenal's title credentials of what they could do? Or is it being is it being really of like, look, as he said, you can't expect a team to come from where they've been for the last few seasons to now suddenly challenge the behemoth that is Man City with this freak of nature known as Haaland. That is too unrealistic for us to try to even begin to compete with. City are just on a whole different level. So, when you think of Arsenal, right... You have a team of uh, players that are able to win the match. If you look at their last two matches, they were able to win this with their sort of, even though they were level or things went badly, they were able to get the get over the line. 
Mm. Um, and so it seems like they have improved in that uh, district where they can actually uh, get through games now. So maybe they can, um, maybe they can really challenge. But the reality is that when you're not when you're when you just come up from one of the biggest slumps of uh, well from a very big slump of a four year period, you don't just go and suddenly challenge for the title. It's like you fail out of school and then, out of college or something like that, and then suddenly you're like, yeah, I'm just going to go to Harvard. No, you start at community college. And then you work your GPA up to actually get a very good um, to have a chance of getting into Harvard afterwards. That's how you work. You don't just go to Harvard. If you just go to Harvard after not having studied anything, you're going to immediately be behind everyone already. So the reality is that these guys are behind. They still don't know what that is yet. They're going to be in February. Say they could be top of the league in February, right? But say the time comes and they're like, oh, shit, we are actually top of the league. They're going to blow it because these players and this manager simply have not been in this position yet. The only time that a team has ever done it is Leicester City. That's it. That's the only time that a team has gone from nothing to winning the Premier League. It, like Normally, you look at Man City, how do they do it? They first had to qualify for the Champions League one time. And then they, they failed multiple times with signings. And then eventually they won the Premier League. So it's not just that you win it suddenly after having such a bad time. You really need to first experience it. They're going to maybe be top because I thought they were going to be bad. I, but th I think this light bulb merchant was playing for the cameras. I think he's actually learning really well. I think he's actually turning. I, I'm, I might have to make an apology for Arteta. I think he I, might actually be quite a decent manager now. I think he might have some. He has them playing really good. So, but no, they no, might no. be top because because my thing is look, see, Arsenal do look good. Yeah, they are playing well and. I am see here's my thing. I feel you're right. Title talk is too crazy. But Osuna, I didn't have Arsenal on my top four bingo card. But after this, I think they're getting top four. I think they are going to get top Osuna four because if, if, if Osuna, if they're getting top top four, the bridge, like again, I wouldn't I worry know. about the bridge, man. Two Osuna, 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 figure it out. I don't know whether you. I, I, I don't know whether you know the KRS one track. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Pa 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 pa. Bro, well, it's between Tottenham and Liverpool for that fourth spot. Yeah, exactly. Chelsea, what you're saying, Chelsea will get top four. So soon. Yeah, Chelsea Wait, are getting Tottenham third. and Liverpool for second the fourth and, spot? second and third. Yeah, also, oh, so now return your eyes to God, bro. It's not working, bro. Can, get a reason. Can I say something positive about AJ? What? Something positive about Arsenal. <laughs> you know, people, uh, I think, I think. I think we have to learn our lessons. I know Leicester will never happen again, but we have to learn our lessons and be oh, careful. Definitely. Yes. You know, yes. you know why I'm saying this? You know why, oh, oh, Sasuna? I was I was happy that Pate is injured. I was happy that El Nini is not there, that El Nini has got a You're getting affected his... by these guys? No, 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 no. Just listen. I was happy for that. And I was like, you know what? Uh they have Tierney uh, who's uh still injured, he's gonna come back. Uh, that that guy is it uh, Tomiyasu whatever he's gonna come back. Yeah, Tomiyasu. Like yeah. so, yeah. I was like, well, these guys are not they're, they're not there yet. So the Tomiyasu guy is good, regardless of what we laugh at him. This guy is the reason why there's a bit of just a bit tiny saying, mm, I don't want to see this because if guys, by God, if this happens, where they that, even oh border the border the Europa purposely when they are on top and say, let's go for it. Guys, the embarrassment that we're gonna have because bro, that's if Arsenal that's... wins this league, I'm fin I'm not watching the Premier League do, anymore. Do you remember what we called it? I'm done with you Lego, guys. Lego man. We can't win the We league. called him Lego man. Uh, Pips, Pips, uh, towel boy, Pips corn boy. So this guy just lifts it, guys. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the end. You know what? As soon as Arsenal that's the end. It, I'm just I'm just gonna close my channel. I'll stop. And by, yeah, by the end you mean yeah. by the end you mean Pep is finished. There's the like no, the, if, the Premier no, League, two points. The entire yeah. Premier League is finished. Yeah. The yeah. entire yeah. Premier League is done. Even you guys, because these guys have spent less money than you guys. You guys have already outspent them right now. No, no, no. Because let's be real. Like, I was just presenting the whole thing. I still think Vito was being extremely rude. I still feel like if you could have chosen your words a lot better and so forth, because Arsenal fans are very emotional. So, but I do feel that 
title talk, it's on realistic. I mean, no, no, recover. Talk, talk, talk to me, Arsenal. I mean, <sighs> this is Arsenal conversation is just reminding me. I said in the chat when we had this whole discussion about Sevilla might actually be something. My uh, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to us, Shout out to us. No, I'll say this. I'll say this. I, at least, at least, at least, Sevilla. They kept, they kept pushing till April, bro. They kept, at least bro, say no Hazard, Hazard, what the? At least say right. no disrespect before you no, say some disrespectful stuff. Last season, right? Last season, Arsenal. I think a lot of people said that Arsenal had a great season, although they missed out on the Champions League. By by what we have seen over them the past however many years, it was a good season. Now, the problem was, when you put it into context, they didn't have European football, right? Now, when you... T- now you Bring up Gendler's comment. <laughs> now you go into this season, you go into this season with European football, and then you shove one month of the World Cup inside of that. A lot of games are going to start to pile up. The squad depth is going to have to show. Arsenal are eventually not going to have the rhythm. And... Uh, we do this every single year, man. We do this every single year with the Premier League. We know Man City is going to win. We try to act like it's going to be competitive because we see what happens in France. We see what happens in Germany. Sometimes it happens in Spain. We, For a, a, almost a decade, we saw what happened in Italy. But the biggest fear is that Premier League fans are scared that their league is going to turn into that. And we are seeing it that is turning into that. And I don't know how anybody can defend it because – the, realistically, when it comes down to the 30th match day, if Liverpool is not close, who the hell is going to be close? And Liverpool, the, the, it's finished for them. Like Samuel has con- conceded the title. Yeah. So for Arsenal's sake, it's like you're going to take on more games. Do you really expect these young players to really keep up this level of performance no, I mean, for a month? It's no. not, man. It's not. It, I, I'm sorry. It, it, it's a nice run. They're probably going to win maybe the next game. Maybe the next game after that, but the moment they, they lose or they tie and they have consecutive they results, to Napoli. Well, no, Napoli is a special case, but the moment they drop points and then the next game they think they're gonna bounce back and they're gonna drop points again, reality is gonna hit. Uh, they're going, they're, they're going to a great form right now. That's what they're going through. They're going to a great form. They're learning. They're having menta- They're showing their mentality because these guys are young. These guys no, are no, 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 no. I think Can I make a case for Arsenal? Because, actually, so. because it's 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 a, a marathon, and I think because it's a marathon, you really you can't really just sort yeah. of make a assessment. Well, okay, and it's I, like I, I heard I heard I think it was Vader that he said that <laughs> Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus is going to show these guys winning mentality. I, I'm sorry, as good as they are, they were they were getting winning mentality from the bench. Like they no, were, but, but Ricardo, they were I, playing this stuff, bro. Like, <laughs> like, what is they actually gonna bring to the field when the moments get hard? <laughs> Let's be honest, man. Maybe if they got you know like KDB or like you know Ruben Diaz, guys were actually on the field during these moments. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Fuck it up, Blanco Studio. Arsenal fans. I have been respectful. It's terrible. Bro. I will. I will share Ricardo and Vezos Twitter mobile numbers and personal details so you, all your abuse can go towards them not towards me thank Isn't you that illegal? Blanco Studio, you, 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 you. <laughs> do, 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 do you think i, I care Blanco Studio, talk talk to yeah, me yeah i want i want to make a case i want to make a small case for arsenal because i think people are right in line with complete uh, like to them well because i think one of the things that i've noticed at least also uh in a couple of games is that defensively they actually look more solid very good and yeah. i think when the saliba guy that's coming so not a lot of people are talking about he's, it, he's king, actually come yeah. into that Along with Gabriel, it's been really sore. so the basis of any Premier League challenge is that you have to have a, a good defense. I'm still not that. I still think City's probably in the league, though I'm not. I'm still not that particularly convinced that City's defense is is it's 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 okay, but I don't think it's it's it, you know it's it's just the fact that their midfield is, is is so good they can hold on the ball and they've got a guy who can finish you know so. But if you if you really go at their defenders, I I think they do have problems there, you know so. Whereas with, with Arsenal, like for at least initially so far, it looks like they've got that on on lock, and I think if you've got that on lock. You can you, you know you can already do something if you can see their goals. So they play United um, at the at Old Trafford. So I think one of the, that, that is essentially the, the, the hardest the, the first hardest game of the season. So if they can go to Old Trafford and lubricate Manchester United, then I I certainly think that 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 sends a statement. Yeah, because they don't play they don't play City until I think the end of October. 
and up mm. until that point, they've they've still got quite a few. Um, they they games. have to play the Spurs. Yeah, this weekend is pretty big. This weekend, yeah. But the thing is, they play Spurs. They play Spurs, City, and I think Chelsea all at the Emirates. Do they? Yeah, all at those, home, right? All those, all those oh. games are going to be at home. So is already, the Manchester United game this weekend away or home? It's, uh, it's away. away. Or Wait, is it we at home? So the point. Can I clear it, my it, name, please? <laughs> no, no, if you're, no if, if you're talking about if you're talking about momentum, if they go and somehow beat United, and then they go they they, they beat those relatively reasonable teams, you know, like your Bournemouth, etc., and then they play obviously uh, uh, Chelsea, bro, look Spurs, at that nonsense, and City, bro. Like hey, at hey, home. If we are going to beat Arsenal, that, eh? you know, that's that's going to give it that that will give if they can go through those free home fixtures against those sort of teams and actually get some of those games. That will give Arsenal a lot of momentum going forward, irrespective of, of whether you think they're going to be in title race or not. Because at the end of the day, with a title race, it is actually it's about momentum. It is about momentum. But but, but, so, but Los Blancos yeah. here's the problem, and this is where I, I I'm extremely 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 worried about Arsenal. Like I'm actually like crapping my like I I'm shitting it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like I am actually terrified of Arsenal because the thing is, it's like look at the schedule. I won't be shocked if they beat United. I won't be shocked if I they beat, shocked oh, no. United I won't be shocked if they beat, of course, Everton or Southampton. Even if I won't be shocked if they, they beat Liverpool, the way Liverpool are playing, guys. Yeah. So I, here's the, the thing is, it's like, and I will say this, and this is something that I've been a Premier League merchant. I mean, whatever. Uh, watched Premier League for a fair long time. One thing I'll say is, it's, it's not always – everyone always believes it's the best team that always win the league. No, it's the most consistent team. All Arsenal has to be is consistent. I mean, uh, people think it's the same same thing. The best team is the most consistent. That not necessarily. The, the most talented team uh, in, in terms of the best team when Leicester won it was Tottenham. I think okay, so. Okay, okay, all right, all right. You, you, you cleared that up. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. So, so, I know, but but he, let me, let me just – But, but the, league, the best team was Real Madrid, but Barca was the most consistent. So the thing is, um, if you're if you're if they're consistent, yeah. if they just do their job, they don't care what Chelsea are doing over as uh, St. Mary's or what yes, United yes, are doing yeah. at Leicester. Arsenal can't be more consistent and, than no, Pe- Peppers. Yeah. Crabs, but, but, no, bro. okay, and hence what why. What are we talking uh, about here? Yes, no, no, yes, yeah. I, I, I don't suppose no, it's no, the H-H, H-H, about Hold on, let me land. please, 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 let me land. Out of respect for Pep Guardiola and Manchester City. I've said this before, and I've, I'm gonna say this now. Man City are gonna win this league, but HH, what I am saying is, Arsenal, if they consistently win games, HH, and they what? rack up and rack up points, and what? they are where they are, what can what? we say? Are we no, gonna no, no. say, oh no, my god, no, no, you know? no, yes, I said, no, no, come on, HH. yes, yeah, stop going up and down and be concise in what you're saying. Are you saying that Arsenal can realistically win this league ahead of Man City? Or do, are no, you saying I, I don't think they can win it, but I can. I, the, I'm not. I think they can challenge. I actually league, really the think they can. Challenge. So I just, just ask me. I point, think they the can league. challenge for the league. Yo, you got to go to Sam. You got to go to Sam. He's being no, patient. because no, no, because it's just. Oh, you got to Sam, 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 Sam. I think we're missing a very, 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 very big part of this. First of all, we got the World Cup that's coming up. We're going to be playing three games a week. They also got Europa League. Am I right in saying that they're one injury away from playing in Ketia up front? Yeah. But he has uh, to get injured, Sam, though. Like, we can say that, but he no, has hold, to get injured. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no, hold on. Not really. I yeah. think they've got that. I thought like they've got striker depth. I think I don't think they have to play in Ketia. But... Mm, no, they, they've only got they WJ. Yeah. And in Ketia as their um, yeah. strikers. But what one thing that we we need to we as guys we need to be fair. Now, they, uh, you can back me up on this. When Chelsea won the Champions League, however they won it, <laughs> I know <laughs> a little bit, little bit. When Did Chelsea you? won the Champions League, <laughs> they, uh, what was the conversation about Chelsea going into the into the season? Everybody thought that they were going to be the title challengers, the the, the ones that will take. Man City and Liverpool, and it's going yeah. to be a free. They thought they leveled what, up. What was Man City and Liverpool fans saying to Chelsea fans? We haven't seen anything yet. We haven't seen Chelsea go on a run that Liverpool and Man City have done in the past few years to win titles. 
So let's be fair to Chelsea and let's 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 bring it to Arsenal. What have we actually seen from Arsenal? What top four, which they failed to get exactly. last season? Come on, let's let's be let's be real here. Let's be serious. They've had a brilliant start to the season, hundred percent. They're beating the teams that they're supposed to be, and this is the step. And this is where I agreed with Osasuna so much, where he was saying that there needs to be. It's not going to happen all the time because Le- Leicester was an anomaly, yes. but there needs to be a- levels where they build foundations. You're not going to go from eighth to win the Premier League. Now, funny enough, Liverpool nearly did it in 2013-2014 season because the season before we finished eighth. But again, <laughs> you threw because you didn't know the situation. Exactly. And that's, the dra- and that's why it was so dramatic because you didn't know the situation. Exactly. And then Man City won the league because they won the league before. Um, a couple, a couple years from there. So what we're saying is that Arsenal, you're doing very well, hundred percent. Give give credit where credit is due. I just genuinely think that you will get the fourth or third position. Now, HH on your team, Chelsea, where uh, you do need to be worried a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Sam, Wait. Sam, the, the next topic is about me. So. <laughs> will figure it out. He'll figure but, it but out. But let me let me let me just land the plane. With, mm. Ars- with Arsenal, let's not get ahead of themselves. They are not title challengers. They are not this or that. And I know that you said if, if Arsenal finish ahead of... Listen, I have no worries about that. They ain't finishing ahead of us. Come on. They, they, they don't have the mentality to even like try and push. But you're not going to sign a midfielder, though. So that, that, that conversation with, is over. <laughs> Come on, come on. Let's let's be let's be realistic. Like I know I said that we, we're gonna be careful, um, hey, because Oli has finished above you before. So yeah, yeah. like it's like it's Sam. Sam. <laughs> Sam. Sam. So, so, so all I'm saying is Sam. All I'm saying is this: that if you don't sign a midfielder, mm-hmm. now I have taken Arsenal out of winning the whole thing. If Jesus doesn't, if they don't get any major injuries. Hold on, but the thing is, H H, let's not change what you were saying. You were saying that Tottenham are going to finish above us, not Arsenal. Now it Sam. could be both. No, 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 no. Sam, we could have so a situation. So we could have a, okay, Sam, put, put it away. We could have a situation where the complicated Chelsea show has been picked up by ESPN. <laughs> yeah. And Chelsea are like, are like, yeah, no, no. Are like eight. And you have a situation, <laughs> you have a situation of like Man City, first, second Tottenham, third Arsenal, for Liverpool. And basically, like the Collegiate Chelsea show is now like a um, BAFTA winning, Oscar winning show that's on ESPN. And it's now if like you, on if cable. You, so. If you guys get lubricated by West Ham at the weekend, HH man, I'm just Sam, saying. Wait, 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 you're attackers, man. man. If oh, you get yeah. Chelsea. Sam, I'm show sorry. Right now. What I'm saying is that, of course, anything can happen. Liverpool can finish sixth, seventh, what, what not. But what I'm trying to say is that Osasuna and and you brought up Oli. That season was when we lost Van Dijk, Joe Matip, <laughs> um, what's his name, um, Joe Gomez, and we had to play Fabinho in centre backs, Henderson in centre back, and then we even lost both of them. So that yeah. was an unknown season. Let, let's I mean, be... the same thing's happening now. No Thiago, no Curtis Jones, no uh, Fabinho those... injury prone, Matip yeah, but... injury prone. And remember, you're playing with 37 year olds in midfield. <laughs> yeah, you had playing Mildeson. I mean, it's, isn't it the same thing, bro? No, it's not the same thing because we're not playing people out of their position. Let's oh, move yeah, on. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, 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 so before I take some dubs, so Vito, is there anything you want to say yeah. to Arsenal fans after your extremely uh, rude? Dismissive, disrespectful, and downright awful um, dressing down of Aston Football Club that has been around Dang. for many few years. And because again, I was told that Canadians are nicer than Americans, but I guess I was wrong. So. No, 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 no. Yeah, we are. Keep, we keep are. in mind that Vader and I, as Canadians, just violated Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show my age here. I'm going to show my age. I grew up playing video games where you had to beat bosses each level. You couldn't, you couldn't just skip. Like there, there was no saving progress. You had to actually play the match, play the game, beat the bosses, and move on. You turn that game off, you're starting from the beginning. Arsenal, you can't skip. There's no code to now jump and battle the bosses at the end. You have to progress. Now show me that you can. Show me that yeah, you can get no top four. Any percent fair. glitch run. <laughs> but but so he's, he's new age. He's new age. No, let me finish this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You you gotta show me. You gotta show me that you can beat the top four big boss. Then you gotta show me that you can get to the 
battling for two, in my opinion, Liverpool. You got to show me that you can beat the Liverpool big boss. You beat those big bosses, then you have my attention. I'm not right now going to say after five games, you just turning the game on. Wait, wait are you I trying to say that Arsenal to... are trying to speed, up, speed run the league? Yeah, but, they're, they're, but, they're trying to do but, it. Wait, 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 real quick. So, again, I may be showing my age as well because, again, I don't want to reveal any ages. Wait, so did you own a Sega Mega Drive? What is that? My 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 attorney has told me oh, not to. Answer what are that these? Question. What are these nineteen <laughs> eighties no, no, devices, no, 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 man? No, no, no. Basically, all I'll say is that there is a game because basically I am the youngest of four. I don't want to rule my age as well. So I used to watch my older brothers play, but we had a Sega Mega Drive, and there's this game called Strider. Do your YouTube's. Strider? There's a game called Strider on the Sega Mega Drive. If do you know, wait, also you you know you know Dodd. You know Doi, okay. you know, okay. and do, do you know, and do you know what a Doff is? Yes. <laughs> Degree of F U C K E R Y. That's what Strider on the Sega Mega Drive is. Well, the stick figures like one dimensional. Yes, stick yes stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys heard of the guys? Want to be the Boshi? <laughs> no, 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 no. Basically, no, do your YouTube's. Just do your YouTube's mm. and just type in Sega Mega Drive Strider. Bro, YouTube <laughs> didn't exist in 1960. All right. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. But they, they still have YouTube things of, of Mega Drive. So just view it then, and then you'll see. Because, yeah, like, you just gave me a flashback of this while so far. Uh, wait, 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 Sam, you wanted to say something? No, yeah. No, I was going to say that um, I've actually got the, still got the console in my room. But it's not because of me. It's because my brother. <laughs> he used to play. No, I'm not Oh, God. The, the days. What's a SNES Mega Drive? Oh, Lord. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Um, what what, uh, what, what Vita is saying? Oh, it's late, you're going. No, 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 but I'll, I'll hear the point before I bounce over. Yeah, yeah no, um, what of it was correct, and it's, it's like, there's, there's not too many seasons, and if it, if there is a season like that, it's an anomaly of a season where you have a team like that that's finishing a struggling, jumping to, like, a title race. You don't really see that. Now, but the World happen. Cup, though, Sam, we have a whole massive break in the World Cup. This is not a, this is not a regular season, people. Bro, this no, is a bro, weird bro. season. Yes, you say Think about it like this. How yeah. many times has this actually happened? That's what I'm saying. How many times have you ever had a walk up in winter? What the hell? <laughs> Come on, guys. It's, uh, that's what I'm saying. Expect the unexpected. Okay, okay wait, hold on. Let me say some dubes. Say some dubes, man. Um, uh, so, shout out to Bada says, rank famous player turns manager. So, Lampard finishes the bottom. Ole, I think, I think he means Gattuso. Gerard, Pielo, Javi, Vieira, etc. Actually, I think Rooney might be bottom. I think he no, no, go... it's got to be Pirlo, surely. Pirlo, yeah. Pirlo surely bottom. Oh, look, yeah, yeah, Pirlo, yeah, yeah, Pirlo yeah. literally Pirlo. took a team from winning Pirlo the title. Won a trophy. To... No, he didn't. Cristiano yes, Ronaldo won a trophy. Oh, no, Cristiano Ronaldo. No. Te no. Technically, <laughs> no. technically, Pirlo doesn't actually have badges. So at least the other ones guys have exactly. badges. You know, at least at least there's requirements. So he okay, so okay, okay. So, so are we saying Pirlo? Yeah, Lampard, Ole, then Lampard. No, no, so, 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 so Pierlo, Lampard, Rooney, Ole, Javi, Javi, mm. Vieira, uh, Vieira. No, no, Vieira. Whoa, 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 Gerard, 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 Gerard is a bum. Oh, Gerard is a bum. No, 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 whoa, whoa, it's so Gerard is worse than Lampard. Whoa, whoa, you can't disregard what Gerard did at Rangers. Listen, oh, no, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Come on, Rangers. We can't disregard Rangers. You can't disregard that. You can't disregard that. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many years? Uh, Come on. And he laid the foundation for what for Rangers going to Champions League. Yeah. All those players. Okay, so, so, there, so, okay, so yeah, who, who are we putting top? Are we putting Gatsuso top or Vieira or? Chavi, 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 Chavi. I think Ricardo. right now Arteta what? is number one. Then we have Gatsuso. Then oh, yeah, Chavi. Yeah. Then Chavi. Yeah. Then Vieira. Then Vieira. Then Chavi. I think. No, 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 no. Chavi, Chavi, bro, Chavi. Okay, okay. So let's see. Rank based. Actually, yeah. This season per per performance, it's only been five games, but fine. Yeah. Oh, God, <laughs> Sterling, Haaland, Jesus. So seven. many names. Let's hey, Bruno, Bruno, is Bruno is last. I don't. I, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to be rude, but uh, Botox. Bo Botox, Botox is last. second last. Botox is <laughs> yeah. last after. No, but, no what about Conte? Oh, Conte did Conte score a goal? Look, guys, yeah. if would have been real. Cristiano's highlight this season is spring water on Rio Ferdinand. No, 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 no,
Do you know? Do you know how messed up this guy is? When we the last game we played, when he came on, Rashford was through. Instead of giving the ball to Rashford, he gave him a ball out wide so he could get the ball back. And all the United, <laughs> and bro, United fans were like, he did this on purpose. It's like, no, I bet he did purpose. as well. I, I bet he did. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by that? Of, of course he no, did. Yeah. You can see, you can bro, see the play. Just, you can see the play, and Rashford was that ball was just meant to go through. Like, bro, it wasn't bro, the one on one on the goalkeeper. Bro, yeah. he forced him wide. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what? He's like, here, no, bro, it's you know what? Stupid. Screw you. No, no, but I think uh, so. Out of this, who is uh, are we saying? Holland, yeah, Holland, of course. Holland, yeah, it's gonna be HH. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I will put can't say all o- the god has been amazing, guys. Salipa has been very good as well. All the god has been good. The Sandro's been good. It's Holland, Jesus, Martinelli's been good. No, guys, I've 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 all the god has surprised me. I yes, oh, no, guy, o- Odegaard, yeah. Odegaard, bro. Do you know what I'm? I'm doing campaign Odegaard for four months. I think that's a great swap, bro. De- it's not, it's not a debate. Swap. It is not a deadline debate. Day swap. No, but, no. But... Yes, yes, it's not no, a debate. I want to say deadline day swap. Um, football breakdown. How can I go and show check into DMs? Yeah, just send send me a, a, a DM on Twitter, bro. Send me a DM on Twitter. Is, is that another Barca thing. fan? Folks who Liverpool and Salah have been terrible. Klopp super lucky the referees and media support him to ensure EPL is not a one horse race, but it can That's only fair. happen for so long. It can only ha- like for me. I think the, the, the whole ref thing, they can it, you can only be helped for so long. At the end of the day, the cream would always rise to, to the freaking can so, Marco, so Beth and Newcastle, man. Like, um, bro, Mo, man, that's... Vito, is it a yes or no? Stop disrespecting <laughs> us, please. Look, I look, I think what Vito said was fair. Now, he could have chosen his words better to be nicer, but I think it was fair in terms of. You can't go from eighth, eighth, fifth to challenging yeah. arguably one of the greatest sides that the Premier League has ever seen. But, but HH, <laughs> Think okay, about I'm, I'm going to say one last thing about this whole topic, and that's it. H, I'm looking at their group. I don't think they need to fill their... I think they can fill their kids and play in the Europa League and still qualify for the next round, HH. That's how bad... PSV? Bro, bro, it's and, bad. Um, ammonia? It's, bro, I, I don't... Bro, oh, Zerk... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wi Fi password, it is. I'm that's what that's what I'm Wi-Fi saying. Wi Fi passwords are good, bro. It is all yes, I'm yeah, saying Wi-Fi is, bro. Already. I'm scared of Wi Fi password, bro. Nah. If I come on, I, I, I'm, not I'm not coming on to this hangout, I'm not coming on to this hangout if we lose to the Wi Fi password. Bro, listen, Wi-Fi I'm not Eddie, coming on. Eddie and Ketio will be top score in the group stage. I'm telling you, HH, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. I was gonna say that, um, your actually World Cup, um, point actually proves against why um Arsenal might do well because how many Arsenal players will actually come go to the World Cup? I actually thought about it. It's quite a lot of them. I mean Saliba... isn't going. Saliba, Saliba isn't going. going. Jesus is going. Tamiyasu 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 is going, huh? Jaka is going. Ben White is going too. Ben White is going. going. Martinelli's probably going to be one play. Arsenal Martinelli is definitely going. No, yeah, he's probably not gonna though. play. To, he's for, not for, gonna, for Rafinha, he's no? not gonna play though. He's and, not gonna yeah. play though. He's gonna go, but he's not gonna play. Well, bro, I'm making an argument that Masinani, the guy is scoring the No, because what's Brazil's yeah, front line? You, it's if, if you, Vinny, it's uh, Jesus, and um, if you think about it, if you think about it, Neymar, Jesus, Vinicius, Anthony, and Rafinha Anthony. Are, are some of the top players right now on form. And they're going to the And, and they still won't win that World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> and Bro, I'm telling you, Brazil are winning it. it. The Invincibles are coming back. Let's be real. The days of Henri <laughs> and Vieira are upon us. Vito down playing this Asta are invested. But imagine the HH. Imagine. Oh, you're, telling me, you're telling me, you're telling me, you're telling me Arteta is going to do something that if, if, Asta Vieira couldn't do. If, if, if a light bulb. If, no, if light bulb goes. Invincible. I I quit football. And <laughs> Me too. Oh, I, oh. I quit. I quit. I quit. I'm I done. Think Ga- I I'm think done. Gabriel Macarena is going to. Macarena. Yeah. Huh? Like, uh, that 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 <laughs> that, that, that Arsenal. Magalhães. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got Macarena. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Isco Macanke. So if Leicester can do it, why can't Arsenal? That's a true. Bro, Leicester that's, is that's like a freaking anomaly. That's, bro. that's true. Yeah, yeah. Anomalies bro, can happen. An anomaly. Anything we can get, happen in football. We Anything always get ha- at Disney Plus merchants. Shall I remember? Isco, shall I remember? Listen, Isco, that's that's football. He gets a Disney Plus. Maradona, hand of God, gave us Pele. Come on, guys, believe. Um, Mo, Adams three zero minimum. You guys will be our statesmen. See, see, Mo, Mo, you need to relax, bro. Mo, you need to relax. See, this Astor fans need to relax, man. Um, Adams, don't worry, guys. We will humble them on Sunday. Adams, 
Well, don't be doing saying that stuff on this channel. You, you yeah. know what? I really can't. Oh, I, I really can't call that game. Lose though. to United, man. I'm done. No, with you also, yeah, yeah, no, 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 guys. I've got a feeling. I'm already saying right now. I think that is. I think I. I think United should win that game. No, oh, they okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've lost. You know the, it's jinxed it, it's jinxed it guys. We lost. You know, they've lost the game, bro. Guys. Just over. because you lost to Southampton doesn't mean you had to it's jinx over, us, man. bro. Just leave us alone. Jeez, leave us man. alone. I, I need Casa. I need, I need Casemiro to put This place, fraud, man. man. Bro, it's, so it's much hype. To the it's game over. Bro, two, Jeez. two draw. No, 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 he no. Hates, it could be he hates draw. United that much, man. He hates United. So now, see, United fans are just worried about the three peats. Uh, no, I'm not. But, but it's already happening. I think everyone's already happening. Shout out to Isco. Yeah, Why is everyone not. talking as if Arsenal will be the only team to have injuries? Ooh. Man City, Spurs, Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool, and United all have two games this season and injuries. Because Arsenal are bringing in Ketty. But this back. is... Yeah, you, you are... No, but the thing is, you yeah. don't... Oh, really have a not it. It. That, that super chat was... Thank you for the super chat, first of all. But second of all, that super chat was stupid. Last season they didn't have Europe. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Holy okay. shit. Back <laughs> fucking hell. <head>. Okay. <laughs> hey, come on. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know It's good. Here's the thing, though. Is that you just became a YouTube member? Tony gets violated. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. I know. By Sam, by, please. By, by your sincerity. Right. By your sincerity. Have some respect. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. You have to look at the guys coming off the bench. That's Arsenal true. getting injuries is the same as City getting injuries. Because as we've said, Haaland gets a injury. Okay. City won the title <laughs> with Gundogan pretty much. De Bruyne gets injured. Okay. City got to 98 points when De Bruyne was, was injured for the whole season. So there are teams who, if one guy gets injured, they're cool. Jesus gets injured. Arsenal are screwed. Martinelli gets injured, Arsenal are screwed. Saliba gets injured, Arsenal are screwed. It's the real so Arsenal, Arsenal are, are, are one injury away from, bro, you are screwed. Mm. Sorry, sorry, we can say something. It's the Real Madrid complex. If we get an injury to Benzema, we're yeah. screwed. Yeah. No. Yeah. So it's Chelsea gets that. an injury to Reese James, screwed. They're screwed. As, mm. as you see. But so, um, um, I've actually been called a fat um, effing word. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm fat. Okay, <laughs> right. What's going on? <laughs> Bro, look, look, the stress is going well. Why are you guys talking about us winning the EPL? No Arsenal fan is talking ab about it. Talk about if we will get top four. Just a way for you guys to criticize Oh, us. we passed that. We no, know no, no, you're going to get top four. Okay, let me be clear here right now. I'll concede it. I will be shocked if Arsenal does get top, top four. Yeah. Yeah. Because, 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 exactly. because are you, my, are you, are you my, no, 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 Arsenal... not Jake's... no, 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 my, okay. my math is this is that they were, they should have gotten top four last year without yeah. Saliba, without mm -hmm. Jesus, without Zinchenko. I feel that their young guys have gotten better and if I added those three guys in there. Chelsea worry me, Liverpool still worry me, and Tottenham are Tottenham. So the guys around them, I don't think Tottenham, Liverpool, Chelsea seem as cohesive as Arsenal. So the key thing is this, if Arsenal don't get any major injuries, I don't know how they don't get top four. Are you united in this conversation? No, man. no, 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 no. Wait, so are you I... saying that Arsenal will finish above Chelsea? Hmm? Are you saying Arsenal will finish above Chelsea? What, what I'm saying Ar is Arsenal above Chelsea. I, I know, I know. What I'm saying is okay, Aubameyang, guys. So, um, that's that's kind of linked. That's kind of linked, actually. <laughs> Ricardo, <laughs> speaking of Ricardo, maybe. I know you're a very busy man. You know, you've got a lot of businesses and so forth. You've got like five, six businesses that run. So I know you're very busy and you're, you're quite hard to get a hold of. So I feel privileged that you've been able to spare your time with us little people because I know you're now a big guy now who can hardly get rich. Time so, is money. You're, you're wasting time. I know, time. I know time is money. Oh, yeah. I know time is money. Time is money. So again, I, I, I appreciate you giving us little people your time. Get to the Ricardo, point. Ricardo. Um, <laughs> broken jaw. <laughs> Ricardo, you shouldn't laugh because... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, Ricardo. Obama, yeah. Uh, uh, that's, not, that's, that's not going to knock off like 10 <laughs> no, mil, Ricardo. by the way. <laughs> Ricardo, Ricardo, Obama is going to Chelsea's thoughts. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, Chelsea need him. Uh, yes. Has it been made official? Has it been made official? Well, so the latest is this. Let me, let me bring up the latest from Fab. 
So this from Fab is this man. Um, and guys, stop calling Fab a type of machine. Bro, 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 what, Mercado, why oh, do you guys want? Yes, yes, shush. I'll answer. It doesn't make sense. official bid for Pierre no Aubameyang has been received by Barca right now. As mentioned in the afternoon, it includes Marcos Alonso as part of the deal. Negotiation progressing <sighs> now on add-on structure. Oba's broken jaw is not an issue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, look. First of all, what happened to Obama Yang? Absolute nightmare. Like, uh, messed, messed up. Bro, messed it's up. not even the fact that... Look, I, I know, like... He, he rumors, 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 rumors are saying that Laporta was, was, was involved. Is that like... I don't, you, did you guys see uh, that? Bartomeu was involved. No, I don't, know if you guys, Bartomeu, I, I don't know if you guys saw, but the game... Or Cristiano was, oh, was involved because he wants to go to Chelsea. It, it was the game against Real Valladolid. There was a picture yeah. of Laporta standing beside Ronaldo, uh, yeah. the real Ronaldo, and he had a black eye. Yeah, I got a black yeah, eye, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what that was about. We never yeah. heard anything about it. But as for Obama, <laughs> man, other, <laughs> other, other, hey, than, other than the broken jaw, like to threaten like his children, his yeah, wife. Wrong. But how, like, how, why does this happen to footballers though? It makes no sense. Because no, they're easy target. They're the no, no. But go to America. Targets, that would never happen to like American like, superstars. Like, 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 like what's it called? I think they broke into De Maria's house, and that's in, in Paris. They broke into yeah. De Maria's house. Which, which, no, but they, they did it. They did it in Manchester too, I believe. Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Reese James's medal. James's medal. Yeah. So like, like I said, these guys are. Like easy targets, you know. These guys don't really have security, which Why? is pretty surprised. I because mean, I which is what I don't understand. We, I'm pretty sure someone like Ronaldo, right? You know, Neymar Salah is, has security, but as well. they also, you know, they exponentially make way more money than these guys that we're talking about. But regardless of the fact, it's a completely sad situation, pretty fucked up, especially the fact yeah. that Obama Yang like, he's out for like four to five months with a broken jaw. Like, that's I imagine how hard they had to hit this guy to break his jaw. Yeah, that's insane. yeah. yeah. Ricardo, yeah. actually, funny that you talk about security because I was watching this um TikTok video and it was talking about six, um, six nine was talking about rappers that have died but they haven't had security around. Yeah, them. man, like, he, he's because he's from six of... nine or don't take him seriously. But he was actually mm -hmm. saying some truths to it. Hey, man, like, you know, I think that footballers need some security around. No, yes. no, 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 no definitely. Like, yeah, there's because... a lot of uncomfortable truths with, yeah. with what that guy says, even though he's so polarizing. But no, for Obama, man, I, I mean, it, it sucks because he was probably on his way to move from Barcelona to go to yeah. London. And then this happens. So it's really unfortunate with the timing and that. But I think when regards to the actual transfer, um, I think he's going to Chelsea. I think it's it's going to happen. Like like I said, Chelsea doesn't see what happened to him as a sort of like a, like a, like a reconsideration process um, yeah. because they genuinely really need him. Yes. Uh, but I, I think it's better for Obama because I really don't see how he's going to find himself a place on this team because no. for one, Lewandowski is not even just he, the quality of player he is, but Lewandowski rarely gets injured. So I, the fact that he rarely gets injured makes it even worse for Obama Yang. Obama is like, and sorry, I, go ahead. If, if, sorry, even as was well like, even if you were to go to play him wide, um, Rafinha and Dembele mm -hmm. are better wide. Yeah, options. and then who do you Aubameyang. who do you who are you bringing off the bench when those guys are not there? Ansu Fati is quite clearly the first yeah. name. So, so, yeah, I mean, he's thirty three. Might as well collect your money. Uh, London Blues are throwing the bag everywhere. Chelsea, it, Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> London Blues, my favorite, my favorite team in London. They, it, it's a good move. I, I think, I think they will benefit. But I, I'm telling you, HH, right now, the frustration that I felt about Aubameyang, you're gonna feel it too. Like he misses a lot of chances. I think it'd be in for a surprise. Okay, okay, but Ricardo, let me ask you this: Does he? Will he be as frustrating missing chances as much as Sterling? Okay, I mean, obviously, Obama Yang is the better, the better <laughs> option. But how much better are we talking? Is no, no, that... but, but, but see, my thing is that beggars can't be, be choosers. So, see, I've already pre prepared that I'm not going to get the level of clinical finishing as a Lewandowski or, yeah. or a Benzema. It is what it is. But then again, but I'm like, you, know... you have to, you have to, you, you have to, you have to have him at least because yeah, the, the key issue is that as we said yesterday, okay, who will now create for him? Because there's a creativity issue as well <laughs> at Chelsea. Yeah, you know? I I think for Obama, I mean, maybe the fact that he's played in the Premier League, he has played under Tuchel before. I mean, when he was younger, yes, that's a different. But, um, but I think he will like. I think he'll be more effective in the Prem than he is in La Liga. So, um, I think that that's the only positive I can see from it.
Can I speak on Abomination? Yeah, also, also go for it, go for it. So, I, I don't mean to, I mean, obviously what happened to him is horrible, and I don't mm. mean to be uh, like rude to a guy who's just had something horrible happen to him, and mm. I don't, I'm like, not really trying to direct my attention to him. I'm more looking at Chelsea, and this, I don't, I don't mean to be rude, this, but this is the reality of the situation. You need a striker now. You don't need mm. a striker in four months. You need a striker right now. But, 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 also, but my thing though is, oh no, no, and that is perfectly, it's a right thing to do. I'm not thinking you're, you're being rude, but the issue is that what quality of striker who you can depend upon being clinical can Chelsea get in 24 hours? What's a deal? Because remember, this deal has is like two, three days in the making. If you're not going to go for another striker, you need, you need to go from ground zero. Can you get a good quality striker from ground zero in 24 hours and close that deal in 24 hours? That's pretty hard to do. And a good one. That is either on par with Aubameyang, little below or better. That's hard because a lot of finishers, most of them are spoken for, and you do. And you know Chelsea's record way with Ford. You just want to now go and get some guy who, oh, this guy is pretty good, an unknown quantity. So really, because Chelsea have wasted so much time in the window, with twenty four hours talk to go, you've gone so far with Aubameyang right now. You at least, you, at least you have the this option in four weeks time. Because if you now say, okay, broken jaw, we can't wait for four weeks. We need a striker now. Okay, this striker, is it going to work? You know Chelsea history of strikers. Even more so, Chelsea have poor creativity. So you could get a decent striker. If he ain't clinical, is he going to score the, the two chances he gets and with how crap But that's also where is? I'm going to go to now my attention to Aubameyang, where... Um, you don't create a lot of chances um, because your attackers don't know what to do in the final third. So, first of all, you're not going to create a lot of chances. Aubameyang really isn't a <coughs> clinical. The only reason he got 13 goals or whatever was because he got so many chances. Mm. So, really, if you add two and two together in, in a season, Chelsea don't create many chances. He de- He's not clinical. You could end up with like 10 goals. That's, you, that's not enough. That's, for what he brings, that's not enough. And for me, Aubameyang is not something that you need. You, I don't know what you need right now. I don't. I, mean, I can't think off the top of my head a striker right now. But bro, you need a, you need someone other than Aubameyang. And my Aubameyang will not solve anything for you, in my opinion. As long as your attackers keep doing what they're doing now and keep losing the ball sixty-five times per match, because Chelsea's attackers, four attackers in total, lost the ball sixty-five times against Southampton, mm-hmm. which means you're getting into the final third, really good areas, and then your attackers just don't know what to do. So I don't know. It's also sad, though. You know, so, wait, hold, hold, hold. I mean, let's. I'm going to go to Sam because he has to sleep. Then I'll come to you. Oh, okay. Sam. Yeah, I just want to say on um the last piece on on Bamyang, um. It's a very confusing thing for Chelsea, but because it's like Bamyang, he's a very good striker, but as Osasuna said, like where's the service gonna come from? Because he needs a lot of chances to score. Yeah. Let, let's just be honest. And I'm not even gonna go um Chelsea's other attackers. I'm not gonna go to the midfield if they don't have cover teach. No, 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 no. It's not the midfield because look, the midfield can get the ball. The, the, the ball is in the attack. The attack loses the ball 65 times in one match. That's the attack. You can get the best midfielders in the world. They will get the ball to the attack, and the attack if they do nothing, they nothing happens. I, mm. I agree with that. But <laughs> one more time, it's like with the midfield, the, the midfield is not good enough. True. Let's just say that. And it all goes back. It all goes back to Tuchel because I don't know what Tuchel wants to do. Like this whole three at the back negates their attackers. Now their attackers are trash. <laughs> let's just let's just put it like that. But it doesn't. The, his formation doesn't allow his attackers to thrive. And this is where I go. With are the, you sure? Come on. No, 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 look at the areas. No, look at the areas that Mason Mount gets into. Look at the areas that Mason Mount has a one v one. Look at the areas where Havertz has a one v one, where Sterling, where Ziyech have one v ones. In good areas in the pitch, where if they can beat a man, they're in a great position. If they can just beat a one v one battle, because all opponents need to do against Chelsea is just man mark them. Just man mark them, and if you man mark Chelsea, none of them know how to dribble past no, no, anyone. No, 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 but, also, but, but my issue is that first of all, Havertz should be played in the center, not out wide. Ziyech, it is what it is. Mounts is not an attacking player. He's an eight who is played in an attacking area. So the issue is that you're playing guys out of position. See, Ziyech, I'll give you. Because Ziyech has been, been put in a strong position and he's not done well. Havertz is played out wide. 
and he's a central player. Mount is not an attacking player. He's a central midfielder or an eight. So if you guys are played out of position, they can't even begin to now say what's up. But I think... AJ, look, look. what did you say yesterday? What were you saying yesterday? You said, what does it matter if you're being played out of the position? If you're crap, you're crap. Because either if, you're being, if you're a good player, you should be able to play out of position. But they're not. Which is why uh, I say like, these attackers are total bugs. And it's the attackers... That ball that Z gave... Harvard was amazing, H.E. It was, was an amazing, an amazing the guy, open header, way over the bar. It was also with Okubo Passan, so I say a piece before for you. Um, the thing is... No, 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 but Passan, say, say Sam, I say Sam, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, <laughs> My thing is that Chelsea are in a situation right now where, like, Factors. I I was saying, yo, Dybala, get him. Oh, he's watched his finish. I was like, bro, Dybala is a playmaker. He is a creator. That is what Chelsea did. And Chelsea fans was like, oh my gosh, he's watched his finish. If Mourinho was, like, was your manager, HH, you would have yeah. been. Well, well the thing because, is, yeah. With what Osasuna is saying, like, I find it very hard to believe that every Chelsea attacker is that bad. I find it very hard to believe. Yeah, no, it's you a good reason to believe. Yeah, I watched, no, I, of course. I, no, exactly. no, no, no. I don't. Is true. I, I agree don't with Sam. No, I, I, no, but I understand. But like, do you, you just you just see like Mason Mount, and you see where he goes. You, you see him try to dribble past someone. He doesn't. He's just not able to. But these that's players, not, that's, none that's of the not players what he does, can dribble past anyone. But that's well, not then, your what, strength, But then it's it, easy to. But then it's so easy to mark Chelsea out of the game. Then just mark man, mark everyone, is, and you're easy. You're, you're, I, I think I, I disagree with Osuna in that like. You more saw the last season where Bamiyang plays for Arsenal and like he and he was he was garbage. He was garbage. And a lot of that was because like the Arsenal was just were just not being able to create from like at all. And I think you have a similar problem when you come if it comes to Chelsea, where like who is actually going to be creating for this guy? Like I don't think he's he's this is not like peak Bamiyang anymore. So you really like it could be a situation of like what was that like a uh, um an um Iguain situation. If a Bam if a Bamian comes to, to Chelsea at the rate that he's going right now. But you're right, Chelsea and Desperate, they don't have a choice. And the reality is if Chelsea don't sign a creative midfielder or a number nine uh by the deadline window, like Chelsea are not finishing top four. There's a very good I chance mean, they may finish outside of top six, I think, because they 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 they, they need to score goals, otherwise they're gonna get pimp slapped by teams. It's, it's I, I mean, I always, really, you know, I always so. said this and I, I stick I stick to my argument, Chelsea need a killer. Um, right now, they need somebody that nearly every chance that they he gets, he scores. That's what they need. What about See, this, 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 Bro, this Broja guy? Broja looked quite good when he actually Broja came on good. against, against Southampton. Right. I don't know why, don't know why they... Yeah, but, but, it, but does Tuchel rate this guy? No, but what, about, what, what, about, what about Cheeto? What about Cheeto? Who? Cheeto. Cheeto. Who's Cheeto? Hey, Immobile. Cheeto Immobile. Sam, <laughs> yo, Sam, man. Like, um, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, desperate times for Chelsea. I mean, but like, um, as I said, um, if you're gonna be playing about it, a Bamian is going to be an upgrade for Chelsea, whether they, whether you like it or sure not. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's gonna be an upgrade for Chelsea, whether you like it or not. Why is Sam? Why is Sam? I level with you, man. So like, I can't, I can't do it. I'm surprised. <laughs> but like, here's the thing. Like, no, no, no. Hold on, guys. I'm what did we Sam. see like, last season? Oh, so no, hold up. I'm talking to Sam. Sam, look. look I know you can't say much, but look at me, Sam. You know, like, okay, pre-match, the lineup. I'm watching. I, I you know I now do like half time space on on Twitter now like Sam like HH like, like, I'm still like, you, know, you, know, you know you know you know like like mental health so I, I don't have the energy I'm surprised the streets doesn't actually know that Chiro Immobile that's how, actually how you pronounce his name no because well, yeah, you said Chiro we thought you were saying Chiro no, no no I said no, maybe it's just the mic but it's Chido. yeah that might have been it no but <laughs> I, you say HH it's Chiro like, that's what you say I want to make a comparison because yes, if we compare your situation right now with Chelsea and you compare it with um, Manchester United last season. Uh, if you look at how Manchester United came second, they did it with counter-attacking football. Why did they do it with counter-attacking football? 
because if they play attacking football, they have nobody that can actually dribble past anyone. Therefore, mm-hmm. they needed to play counter-attacking football, and that was that's why they won all those games 1-0, and in the end, they couldn't do it because that's not the consistent way to beat to win a title. And therefore, last season, when Ronaldo came and they had to try and play attacking football, it failed because they had nobody that could dribble past anyone. So every, no one could dribble past anyone. Ronaldo got to hit his goals, though, but so. I mean, that's because he's he can always that's because, and that's actually that's what I mean by maybe you want what you'd want Ronaldo in that kind of situation because Chelsea have no one that can get past anyone and really all you can do is spam crosses into a box in, in from wide areas. So maybe so, 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 yeah. so, so is would Ronaldo be a better option than Obama? In there Honestly, Chelsea? probably, probably, because Ronaldo will score pretty much every chance he gets. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Ronaldo would be. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Guys. With your, I, dif- with you, as long as this dysfunctional attack continues, yes. But I, I, I feel like, I feel like also, more than... FYI, Kulibali should be under review <laughs> slightly. We need to, we need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, so, um, I think, I think Chelsea also. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think we give enough credit to. Um, oh, Ger- why Giroud, not? Why bro. not? Why not bid? Come on, Toby has money. Why not bid a hundred million for Victor Oshiman? He was the United potentially were gonna they get rather, him they the rather bid, future. yeah. They rather bid 90 million. Why not bid 100 million? Let's be honest, you're, why, you're why? bidding 90 million for this freaking defender you and, and 60 million, million, yo, 50, 60 million for Jordan. No, why, 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 why is Ivan Tony still? He's a baller, man. But why, like, why, like, the, he's Wait, a perfect opportunity to get him the hell bro, out of the he's a baller. club. He's a baller, but you know, I mean, you know, in fairness, Ivan Tony couldn't, couldn't, isn't a bad, he, he, he performed yeah, much he's better, he, he performed better than well, Lukaku. Why don't you get Giroud so, back? He's not, he's Olivier. <laughs> come on, wow. okay, Giroud, Olivier Giroud. I mean, all these Syria guys, no, it's bad. Sam, you, Sam, you don't, bro. Bro. Sam, I'm don't. just deep in your options right now, and it, it, my word, it's no, but it's Sam, but no, because see, that's why I see, I've took his ass. I didn't say Arsenal can ask that. I am generally worried because I'm like, he's a great shout. Arsenal don't look, look good. Sort them. Look, Liverpool, are like, if Chelsea don't you're get being, that act together, you're you being West Ham on the weekend. Man. I'm surprised. I'm surprised nobody has tried to poach uh, Mitrovic. Relax. Mm. Okay, yeah, that guy has been a rage for him. Right. He has like seven goals right but now. But it's still, it's still right? Mitrovic, Six guys. Goals? You guys has been around for time, though. Let's be real. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. he's nice, but come on. But actually, let me say this real quick. Yeah. I just don't get... See, I mean, shout out to Todd B for trying to spend the money. It's Morata for bro, sure. bro, why you... Like, you rebuild the team and you try to plug in the holes in your start 11 first. The idea of trying to spend 90 M's and... What, Vardiel? Is it Vardiel? Yeah, Vardiel. Yes, I don't, I don't Bro, know. Who okay, look, you spend 90 M's on it after you spend 85 million pounds on um, Zakaria for something. Zakaria, okay, yes. Zakaria. Okay, okay, actually, look. Yes, the, yes, your, right. No, no, actually, one, one thing I'll say the brain will say, we need a uh, midfielder, we need a striker, we will probably need another uh, attacking uh, winger, uh, you know, someone like Rufa Zaha that would be amazing for Chelsea. You or someone like that, or or even a dribbler say, "Come on, bro! Like you could tempt Saint Maximum from Newcastle. Shout out to Newcastle, but you can tempt these players, bro. You put the money down, you could get the players. You've shown it. But Chelsea are like this idea, yeah, but, this idea not, that I'm gonna build a eleven full of defenders makes yeah, no but sense not, to me. It's it's not Todd B though. It's not Todd B. He, like like Tuchel himself has said, like, well, like sa- I think was, no, in a post uh, no, conference, no, no, no. he <laughs> said, I, I I don't want to sign a midfielder." He literally said that Tuchel said, "I do not want to That's sign another midfielder." No, but the no, thing is, the midfield is the last of the problems. The midfield is the last of the problems. The what do you mean? Okay, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, let me just say some debates and then last because once I, I want so maybe we could touch on the whole. HH, check your DMs, by the way. Oh yeah, check your DMs, by the way, HH. Um, no, I, I, I will. I will. <laughs> He's asked for two weeks, not four months. Wait, who is yeah, this in it. reference to? I thought it was four weeks. I thought it was four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Um, he says, Chelsea, said four months, apparently. last 24 hours, last chance. CR37 is begging, save him. Bro, no, you might as well. No, 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 no. Do you know why? My dream is coming through. CR37 is going to pull up to ammonia acid in the Europa League. You know, ammonia is actually a base. Ammonia or ammonium? 
I mean, ammonia, ammonia is a base. Ammonia is a base. <laughs> okay, look, guys, let's let's talk witchcraft, man. Let's talk with witchcraft. Um, mm. Actually, quickly check your DMs, quickly, bro. Quick, okay, just no, no, quickly. I will, I will, I will. So, so Sam, I'll just put this straight. Do you believe in this witchcraft? Okay, first of all, I do. I do believe in witchcraft. Um, for for me, um, the, these things do happen. Um, yeah. Like. The, the most shocking thing to me was that I don't know if this is true, but you know how he said that his brother is part of a gang? Apparently, the leader of the gang is the mum. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mama Dukes. Mama Dukes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I heard that, but let me just... Oh okay, Sam. Here's my, my thing, though. You know, motive. You know, like, my mom's a lawyer, you know. And the key thing, that whenever you're, you know, these things, motive, why would Pogba want to... Wait, your mom's a lawyer? Yes. You're So you're a privileged kid? No. Long, <laughs> long... <laughs> basically, long, long story that involves the, the divorce of my mom and dad. I can, we don't need to go through it here. Um, Sam, um... I just, you just threw me off. No, 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 no I'm not sure. No, you just, why did you throw me off? I'm not remembering like, like all my, 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 child, my child, childhood. You are Sam, entitled. Sam, so do you, look, why would he want to put a hex on Mbappe? Why? What's reason? I mean, this whole thing is very confusing to me. Uh, I, I, to put into words, like it's just like it all came out like that. But I said, can this really happen to the French team? But then I realized Rabio's mom is there, so yeah, mm. it, it, it can. But um, he must have he he must have Pogba must have done something where he's probably had a favor. He owes a favor from them, something like that. But I I generally do think that this has been blown out of proportion. But for Pogba to be Using witchcraft as a Muslim. No, 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 no. Because, because, because what we know now is that he admitted to using witchcraft, but that was to avoid injury. But it's yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but uh, uh, admitting oh, oh, oh. To using witchcraft is just already no, that's already. I know, I know. That's, uh, well, look, look no, but but no, no, it's just, just oh shit, what happened no, to no, Sam? No, but, but, no, oh, oh no, no, I think because he had to go. But my thing here is this: is that um, why would why would Matthias Pogba why 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 would he tell such a lie? Like I, why that's, lie? That, that, why why that? If you tell a lie, apparently, there's video evidence. Okay, I have a presentation. H, I have a presentation. I have a presentation. Can I make a presentation? I don't have to say anything else afterwards. But okay. Can I make a presentation? Okay. Um, uh, so <laughs> there. there Am I allowed to, HH? Yeah. Okay, can I have the uh, can I have the field? Uh, well, go wow. for it, and then if it gets too weird, I'll just cut you. Okay. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, we we all so HH, you watch mm -hmm. the Figo documentary, right? Si, senor. Um, now the what so, documentary? The Figo. The Figo oh yeah, Figo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, no spoilers, this, please. This is this is the, this is this is the gospel, right? This is the gospel. When you have a look at how Mbappe's been acting recently, look at what he's been doing, look yeah. at the fuss he's been keeping, all right? Mm -hmm. Look at what he's been doing. Mm -hmm. Um, and because if you think about it, Damn. and it came out that Neymar wanted that he wanted Neymar to leave, right? Yes, so okay. I think all of this, all of this, all right, okay. I'm just going to put it into context here. So you have Mbappe, who's actually complaining out loud like this. You have Neymar, who was uh, apparently now not sold by PSG. So Mbappe's not going to be happy about that. So Mbappe is causing a fuss. Pogba is trying to make a witchcraft on this, but then his brother to not to not get injured. But then suddenly his brother comes out and says something about him wanting to also curse Mbappe. So if you put there, there's not really it's very difficult to connect all the lines but if you put one man one name in it it connects all the dots okay. florentino perez if you have oh. so okay florentino perez if so if you think about it mbappe was promised a world at psg 
He was promised okay. the world, and he, he was promised to be given whatever he uh, what God given. He was asked. He, okay. he would ask for. So, okay. if you think about it, suddenly name he wants Neymar to go, but then he's not going. So he's like, "Hey, what's going on here? I was lied to." Florentino Perez comes back and says, "Hey, Mbappe, you know, uh, because if you remember Florentino's uh, interview, he said that's not my Mbappe, but he said my Mbappe." So he still has him on his mind. So he's like, hey, Mbappe, maybe they lied to you, right? You don't really uh, actually, uh, you, you, they're not really doing everything you wanted. You wanted Neymar out. Put, get okay. it out there. For Florentino puts it out to his news sources, to, uh, anonymously through news sources. Um, okay, so Neymar, the there was actually, he, about actually Mbappe wanting uh, Neymar to leave. And then he tells Mbappe, make a fuss. Don't uh, act all fussy, all right? We're, we're going to get you in next summer. We're, we'll get you in next summer, all right? And then he makes all this new thing about Pogba as well, just to make there more drama about uh, Mbappe. And so if you, and then so he tells Matthias Pogba, to, he pays off Matthias Pogba and says, put this out into the news, all right? Put this out, and then so Mbappe would be in an even more compromised position. So that now France... The team, the, so everything in France was trying to convince him to stay at PSG. Now Paris is trying to manipulate France into kicking him out of PSG. It's a genius move. Also genius sooner, this move is, by Don this Perez. Is, so, also, this, also, is, also, also, this, is, this is weird 4D chess, man. Let me just say, so, so, so I have about six comments that say drop the brick. <laughs> and a few says that this is class A theory. So... <laughs> <laughs> Ross says meet him. <laughs> so, yeah, Ross said Platinum Brick Drop Academy. Brick. I teach. Uh, well, I just said brick. Platinum Brick Academy. Oh, 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 theory. Yeah. <laughs> brick. There's a few inductions. No, a few in but because uh, it, seriously, the lines don't connect well, until I mean, you put Perez. Said, if you put, yeah, at least he said please. He said please. If you put, put Perez me. there, it makes sense. Also, mm-hmm. I think um, there's one comment that actually summed it up. Um, that is the Spanish soap opera. I mean, yeah, Osasuna, yeah. that was a brilliant story. Yeah, that's really... document, bro. I didn't realize what filler and Tino Perez did to actually spot. get presidency the first time. No, 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 just mm. spot, just spot because people still haven't seen it. Yeah, so, yeah. don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. But here, my thing, though, I look here's the thing, though, and I said this on my video. If it is proven, and I say if, if it is proven as Pogba used witchcraft on Mbappe, he's not going to the World Cup. Yes, he's not. Because, he's because not. if it's been, if it's between, if Deschamps has to choose between Pogba and Mbappe, he's choosing Mbappe. Are you sure Ricardo, do you believe in any of this witchcraft nonsense? Or is this, or is this, or is this just, 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 just BS, man? I mean, sorry, we, before Ricardo, you speak, um, yes. sorry about that. My, um, my battery ran out, so that's why I came back on. But yeah. This this can all be very true. Um, Pogba, if you really did this, like, why, bro? Why but he was admitted, it that desperate? Pogba, but Pogba admitted, and apparently, what Porsche admitted that he used witchcraft, especially to like for to prevent injuries. So I'm thinking, if you use it once, what makes me yeah. not think you're gonna use it again? Yeah. But anyways, like um, Pogba, I'm very disappointed in you, man. Like that's 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 just low. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sam, hold up. It isn't proven yet. Now there's allegedly video evidence that is going around, but unless it is proven, all we know is that he says he used witchcraft to prevent injury. Which okay, it's it's fine. I mean, look. No, but but it's it's like, right, I, I feel like it's right it's, right I feel like sure, one thing sure one thing that. that Sam said. I think people didn't pick up is people don't understand. And in, in 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 Islam, the religion of Islam, this this is not a bigger sin than using witchcraft. This is actually the ultimate sin. Like you're talking about, like sins that you everyone knows that Muslims can't eat pork, they can't do this, they can't do that, bro. All that is secondary to doing witchcraft. In Islam is the literally, literally the, the in, in in Islamic uh, law in Islamic countries. If you're proven that you are a rich, you use your rich doctor, you are getting killed, HH. You die. That's uh, the truth. Uh, first People don't want... understand that. It's like it's like the ultimate, uh, like it's it's like is you is rather it's like it's, it's beyond like it's like it's the most vile thing you can do in Islam. Like I mean, there's dude, nothing else you can do. Anyway, my bad, uh, my bad. The Ricardo was supposed to talk, but anyways, yeah, 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 yeah my bad. Peace, 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 pe
also so like you must have stole Casey's Camp New Kush because bro that florentino that, that figo documentary man it just Not, uh, like, also, but it just opened a whole new world to me uh, but anyways regarding the i can understand the mbappe hex that he may have against them because i'm not surprised if Mbappe was probably the reason why Pogba didn't get the PSG transfer. Because if we're sitting here and saying that Mbappe was, you know, let's just say that it's true that Mbappe wanted Neymar out, you know, he was promised penalties, blah, blah, blah. Is it really out of the, the realm that Mbappe had to say whether or not Pogba was, was to go to PSG? I mean, I, Remember PSG and Pogba, they had it. They did have links. They did have links together. They did, yeah. So it's not just like you know over one transfer. It was over a, a bunch, like uh, mm. over the last year or so. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe there was a little bit of uh, weird mm. feelings there. And then he's like, "All right, you know what? Screw this guy. I'm gonna put some juju on you, and I hope you tear all your ACLs and everything." And uh, and then maybe to some degree it's working because we've seen a little bit of the thing that's going on right now with the PSG, specifically mm. with Mbappe, and uh, you know Messi, Neymar balling, and he kind of feels like the odd man out. So I mean, it might kind of be working. Um, but oh I, my it's just, god, it, it's Qatar is a Muslim country, guys. If if it's is if if it's proven that he did witchcraft. And is against Qatar law that oh my god, guys. Yeah, that means he won't be allowed to even come into the country, HH. They'll I mean, literally maybe. stop him at the border. No, yeah, but, they will literally stop him at the border. Uh, I think with the, the whole brother extorting him, like I, I to be honest, I don't even know who the good guy is in this situation because what Paul it's Paul 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 yeah. is doing <coughs> is weird. It, it's really weird. Mm. Um and then obviously for your own brother to extort you it's really messed up like i want to know what pogba has on his brother for his brother to do what he is doing other than he vividly said something about he left them pretty much left them for dead so whatever that means mm. yeah no, no it's, i mean mm. like i mean it's 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 i think that's the wild thing is that it's your brother who is now outing you like this yeah and my because because here's my this is what i said last time if it was a brother that we'd never seen, oh, that makes sense. Brother gets jealous that a brother is super famous. Oh, you forgot to me. Let me get you now. But we've seen them so close. We see them hanging out together and together. They were both, they always, they went with him on the World Cup. They were both yeah. with, with him at the, at the Euro. So these guys are actually close. So my thing is, what happened? How did that close union break up? Hey, man, there's That's always, awesome. always going to be jealousy, right? And... Uh, if you look at his brother's career, they aren't remotely as successful as yeah, Pogba. Yeah. Pogba probably gets paid a, in, in one week what his brothers get paid combined in their entire like entire like annual yeah, salary. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, who knows? It, it, but money corrupts. Yeah, money absolutely corrupts people. It does. Blanco, what are you saying, man? I mean, let me just quickly the... share this one second. So I'll give a okay. similar presentation to Osasuna, but maybe slightly, like slightly less. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Less, less, thing. less, less drop. It'll be less. less, less. Just write this. Just quickly share this. Oh, hey, it makes sense. Um. So sense. so <laughs> so. You, you, so, can, you can't say we do, we, there's a reason why so, we went trophy list. So, no, no, so, no, so, 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 Starts cracking this. No, 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 no. Listen, oh, listen, listen, I get listen, it now. Listen, listen. Okay, David Ayer said this. Said this out. Like he's like, listen. I don't understand. I. It was like that season. I. I. I don't get it. I don't understand. You know. I think someone has put a curse on us. Um. You know. Did you think you after know, after <laughs> thing that happened. Bro, well, if we win a trophy this season, wait, HH. Hey, just like the thing is, HH, because you know we're, we're both Nigerian, you know. So like, yes. I'm not. So we're not naive to to the judge, the juju in yes, certain places. Yes, we're yes. not naive to the stories that my parents have told me about seeing certain things happen in yes, certain places. Yes. I'm Nigerian. Uh, stories, yes. You know, I'm, where... I'm Nigerian too, by the way. Shout Ricardo, out to you, shout Ricardo. Shout 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 you. No, no, Blanco's so, not. Just but you know, you know, there, there's certain stories we had, or like even the video that I showed you. I think was it last? Was it two years ago when Arsenal were doing badly? 
and I shared a video of like this this witch doctor. Basically, I think I think it was like to help Arsenal Arteta win, and they basically went to the witch doctor with a goat, like like they, they they were Arsenal jerseys, and they had like a goat, and the goat was dead, and the witch doctor was like uh, you couldn't see the you couldn't see the witch like when you. Like you, you can't see pupils. You couldn't see the, the the guy's pupils. You know that was in the. <laughs> so I'm not saying that like you know I get where people are like oh, I don't believe it like that. Like it's not really the issue of a belief. A lot of it is the sort of the psychological um, manipulation or domination that comes of it. But as an fellow Nigerian, you hear this stuff all the time, and you don't really want to. You don't want to go into it. So when when the report came out that Pogba. It, it seemed to say that um, Pogba didn't deny going to see a witch doctor for injuries. Already, I was like, crap. Because I'm even going back to Jose times. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute. You got on with Jose Mourinho in that one season. And then the season after you guys fall out, he gets sacked and the whole thing messes around. And I'm thinking these cycles. Like, yeah, you got on with this manager. And then after you fell out with that manager... That manager sort of disappeared. It's like... I don't shit. From Mourinho ended up in Spurs. Los Blancos, imagine. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying that, like, the cycle, like... It's okay. I hope. Okay, I hope. okay, I okay hope. look. I look. hope. I Blancos. hope. Blancos. Are we now hope. saying that... Oh, Ralph Brighton's Pogba... in Austria. No, 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 no. Hold, yeah. hold up, Blancos. Are we now... Yeah. Are we now living in a world where Pogba is now an active user of witchcraft? <laughs> possible. It's, and, it's, and, and, and he's been using this for years. It is possible. It's, it's possible because he says because like we what we know what I know with witch trust, certainly from even Nigerians, is that like you don't just go and see a witch doctor once. Okay, it's you, you have a relation. It's not like oh you get a rec- recommended like phone call ever, and it's like oh yeah go and see this guy. It's like no no no. You see a witch. You see a witch doctor multiple times. You have a relationship with that with a witch doctor. So. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, Ross okay. Blancos, how do you know about this? I, I have pet Nigerian parents and I'm saying, Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, this yeah. Is, this is the old stories that don't believe the stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, so so what so what you do know is that people set people you, you go multiple times, you have a relationship. It's, it, it's common because you specifically want the doctor to know who to target, who should be Bro, focused on the I mean, I don't. I, this is the thing, like, and that's why I said in that super chat yesterday when I said, "Does the, 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 does Pogba have any friends with Chelsea players?" I was half joking. I was, I was, I was half joking. I was partly half joking. So because I was like, because Kante, Kante's been picking up in, a lot of injuries recently, man, and Kante is in the French team. Bro, and, and I'm like, oh, why is the like, yeah, 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 yeah. Why is the same player? Yeah, it was this never the same player. player yeah, this like, is, this is, like, this is getting, this is getting wild now. Like, I'm, okay. I am yeah. trying to, I'm trying to joke, but it's bro, it's, looking it's, for it's, Ryan. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh no, no, no. It's, 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 Let's yeah, get this yeah. Let's get this so oh, keep, 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 This is the real. Wait, hold on. H, H, a few weeks ago, I told you was Pogba's injury the first sign of Francis Walker's cost. Now, I will ask again. Is Pogba's hex the second sign of the cost? Amazon all or nothing French I would pay. I would bro, pay. That would be a great all or nothing in France. And guys, you know what? The way things are going, I, th- I think France implode. It would not show me that France suddenly improved. Yeah. Wait, so, 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 who's the, so it's, it's, it's Denmark and who else is in the World Cup group? Can, does anyone remember? Who are the, 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 the two other teams? Uh, Peru, I think. No, no, Peru didn't make it. So oh, it's actually who, who did Peru Australia. play against? Australia. 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 So, so, Australia. So, so it's Australia and then and Tunisia, I believe. And Tunisia, yeah. Tunisia. Bro, if France allow either Tunisia or Australia to get through, come Pogba, on. Pogba, Pogba can't go to the World Cup now. He can't go to the World Cup now. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. He, he literally, can't. Qatar won't allow him to. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no. Even just, even just, if these, if it's claimed, like at the end of the day, if your team like, put aside all the supernatural sort of stuff, even just yeah. psycho- psychologically, if you would, if you got a player who said like, I have you gone to use, use witchcraft and then a legends that use other to players, like you are not going to be comfortable. Like even as, as yeah. someone who's believed, I would not be comfortable at work working with someone who said, oh yeah, yeah. No, no, I no, went to witch you, you like, need no. Harmony. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, guys. Were all those heads? <laughs> yes, yeah. Can you can please? You yes, no, my, please. my question is, is um, please, no, my question is, you know, how when he got hurt, 
he said he was gonna use alternative form of medicine, that he was not gonna get uh the surgery, <laughs> that he's gonna use other forms of was it, was it, was he talking about juju? Like did he go to which doctor after he got, got injured? Bro, obviously, like, man, obviously bro. What, 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 what uh, so what's oh, it? No. Told you the cost exists. France is getting again. Despite if France allow either Australia or to to get through, Lord of the who knows, guys. No, they might well. finish bottom. They might finish bottom. And just before before you leave, check your yes. DMs because this really irritated me. Like I understand the notion. No, 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 no. But H no, the yes, audacity yes, to yes, this yes, guy yes. Yes, to post yes, a I told you, video. Don't even mention the, 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 that last guy's name. Don't even mention his name. I for me, me and that guy, no. But the audacity, HH. It's so crazy. Shout out to Osuna, Blancos, Ricardo, Yassir. Guys, we pray that Chelsea can get their deals done on deadline day. We pray and we hope. Peace out. Stay true. Stay real. Hazard, you've got one more chance. That's the World Cup in November. <laughs> one love. Peace out. Peace out. Peace, peace out. Peace, peace. 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 peace.